All right, we're live, about a minute late and not too bad. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this will be the, the third week that we've done the new format, which is basically Q&A for the first 30 minutes to an hour. And hopefully it goes as good as the last ones have. We've had some great questions, some great answers, some not so great answers, some have, that we haven't answered. But anyway, this week I'll start off. Let me look at the chat and see who's here first before we do anything. Um, if those of you notice the picture that I posted for the chat itself for the stream, our good friend Mick, Mix Mowers, Mower Man, he has a Briggs, I believe it's a Pulse Jet carburetor, a Pulse Jet um, that goes on, I believe it's like a classic type engine with the tank, like a five horse where the carb mounts to the tank. Um, anyway, there's a screw. He's saying it's a mounting screw. We think it might be a mixture screw, but that photo is the photo that's on the title for this chat, you know, from the um, video, on the live video advertisement, you'll see a picture with a, a circle. And I'll try and share screen later and show you that. But if anyone out there knows anything about this pulse jet carburetor and what that screw is as far as a part number or where to get one, please let us know because Mick has the carburetor without that screw. He needs that screw. He's saying it's a mounting screw. We're saying it looks like an adjustment screw, like a mixture screw. So I don't know who's right, to be honest. I looked at all the different sites, jacks, and all these other places that have different drawings of the pulse jet carburetors. We couldn't find anything similar. There's air vein governor pulse jets. There's mechanical governor pulse jets. Both are different. Okay, the old ones, some of them have choke rods that pull out, things like that. We've looked at all of them, me and Hank and Klaus and everybody. We've looked at all of them. We can't find the carburetor that shows this. And I'll see if I can share screen later and, and show everybody that part. Uh, but let me just start out quickly. Let's look in the chat real fast. Tommy's saying Mix has a screw loose. I said, no, it's basically missing. It's not loose. He actually doesn't have one. Wayne's thinking it's a standard Biggs and Stratton carb, which is fine. Asking for the model type and code. We don't have it. Mick doesn't have the model type and code. So that's the issue that we're having. Randy's in the house. Hello, Randy. Hank is in the basement waiting. Who else we got here? We got Tommy time. Hello. How are you, Tommy? Everybody's saying hello to everybody. Let me scroll down, see who else is here. Give me a second just to go through the chats. Uh, we do have Klaus in the basement as well. Uh, Barry Ewald. Hello, Barry. He's in there. Uh, let's see, everybody's saying hello to everybody. Uh, oh, Mr. Clem is around. Hello, John. Hopefully he'll come up. Uh, let's see, he's got a new keyboard. Oh, cool. All right, I'll throw the link out real quick. So people that want to come up are in the background there. Uh, Tar Heel, hello, William. Hope everything is well. Uh, let's see, Mr. Solo, how you doing? Yeah, today's weird. The weather today, we, we were supposed to have rain today and then like snow tomorrow. I mean, no, rain today and I stay tomorrow. Then I was talking to Hank this morning and he's saying, well, we're going to get rain later on today at around four o'clock or so my time, but then it's going to get real cold and turn to snow tomorrow. So who the heck knows? We had 50s, 60s. It's like spring. Now all of a sudden we're going to get snow. Who the heck knows? I mean, I wouldn't mind a little snow because I still have some snow blowers to sell, but other than that. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, we changed the clock back tonight, too. Uh, here in America, we changed the clock, so we lose an hour of sleep tomorrow. Let me just see who else is in the chat. Uh, John Johnson, 85 in Florida. That's nice. <laughs> uh, everyone's talking, talking, talking. Mick Hardy, how you doing? Uh, Mick, I hope that we helped you out with the um, GX25 issue you're talking about uh, with the oil and everything and the smoking and all that. And maybe uh, later on, we could talk a little bit more about that because uh, it got all of us thinking and we're all curious about that engine. And I believe Tom from Vintage Engine Repair in Australia was going to try and see if he could take one of the engines because he has one and run it at different orientations to see if it smokes. So hopefully Tom can chime in. Wayne, I do see you in the basement. Hold on. I'm going to get the other ones going. Uh, we got Pete here. Hello, Rusted Roland. How are you? Mr. Woolworth, how are you? Let's see who else is in the chat. And then I'll give you a quick story about what's going on with me. Uh, Noel's here. Hello, Noel. Great channel. Garden, tractors, real good stuff. Who else we got? Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh, Mr. Roberts. Hello, Michael. Hope all is well with you. I'm going to go through this pretty quick. Mr. Clements here. Hello, Bill. How you doing? Ben is here. Hello, Ben. 
Everybody's saying hello. If I don't put up every single chat, don't be concerned. I'm just trying to get through it. Joseph, how you doing? Another great channel. And, and if you guys um, are looking to put out your channels, please do. Um, if you're not a moderator, uh, I can make you a moderator if you've been here for a while and all that stuff. Um, we'll look it up. We'll keep that number in, in mind, Wayne. We'll take a look and we'll share screen and we'll see if it makes sense. Keep that number. Everybody's saying hello, hello, hello. I think, ah, oh, Mick's here too. Hello, Mick. Hopefully we can help you out with that Carby. Uh, Taylor's here. Hello, Taylor. Let's see. Everybody's saying hi. I think we're getting close to the end of the chat and then we'll talk again. John, Tampa, Joe, Mick, everybody's saying hello, 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 hello. I think I'm caught up with, oh, Jamie, oh, hello. Everyone's saying, oh, Jamie, hello. I think everybody, Joseph's saying the first time he saw Sun. Yeah, well, that's that's uh, our friend Hank's fault. Hank's in all the rain over to the UK. All right, let me see. Weather change time. Bu, 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 bu. I think, oh, Cliff's here. Hello, Cliff. I don't want to miss anybody before I get rid of the chat. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. To, I think I'm getting close. Ben Joseph. Oh, Mac210 is here. Hello, Mac. Hello to you. We've got 38 in the house. It's going to grow. Steve is here. Yeah, Steve, we had a big discussion about that last week where one of uh, our regulars, McHardy, was saying that he's getting smoking from his. And with that, the way that crankcase is designed and all, it's on a mantis tiller that McHardy has. He was wondering, how does he get rid of the smoking? Is it a ring issue? What is the issue? So we actually did a, a bunch of conversations about it. And we'll, t we'll talk more. We'll talk more. Uh, who else we got? I think that's it. We're cut up. Okay. Let me just give a quick story. Uh, what we do with this new format, those that don't know, I started doing these chats so we could talk tech and I do a lot of tech forums and things like that. I answer questions and do things like that. And I figured the new format is for the first half hour or an hour, we'll have some of the regulars come up. We'll talk strictly tech. What's happened during the week? What did you hear about small engines? What have you worked on with small engines? What have you fixed? And then once we do that, hopefully a half hour to hours gone by, then we get to the banter and all the fun and games that everyone expects of us. So uh, I'll start out with what happened with me this week. Tough week at work, really tough with machines down, things like that. But small engine wise, I had um, this guy, I think, what does he call himself? YouTube GTO or GTO YouTube. Um, he actually had a question about uh, rebuilding a seven horse Briggs aluminum engine. And he was asking different questions about bore size and this and that and the other thing. But one thing he said to me was he was putting it back together and he gapped the rings at 5,000. <laughs> now to me, no, that's not enough, okay? Normally, when you work on a small engine, the rule of thumb, and with a lot of engines too, Two to three thousandths per inch of bore is a standard that's used in the industry for piston rings. Okay, it might be a little different, you know, chrome rings on aluminum cylinder, they'll wear in faster, things like that. But usually, you know, if you go with say two thousandths, two to three per inch of bore. So I said to him, five thousand, no, five thousand, it's going to expand, that cast iron is going to hit, it's going to split the rings. So I told him, go with 10 to 12 to be safe. Okay, so. You know, we could talk about that too. So let me, that was, that and the GX25 discussions we're having with Mick Hardy, that's where the week went really with small engines. I've got a couple of chainsaws going in the shop right now that I'll probably take care of tomorrow. Uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully our friend Tom at Vintage Engine Repaired on Australia can take his GX25 and do all the different orientations and go that. But Main thing I want to do today, if we can, as a group, can we help Mick out? Can we look up this carburetor? Can we get him the screw he needs? So let me call the first person into the thing. And the first person up here was Hank. So I'm going to call Hank up first. What's going on, Hank? <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? No uh, rain yet. No snow yet. <laughs> no, no. Now you, this week, I know you've been working on different things, but t this has been a big tool week for you, right? Oh, yeah. I've been tooling up, getting all everything I can situated so I can start making some videos and doing a little work in the yeah. shed, you know, yeah. uh, because it's going to start warming up and uh, all my past problems are in the past now. Dad's gone and all that. Yep, yep. Um, so, yeah, now I can get back into trying to do a few things. Now, is there anything in your shop that you're looking to get done first, second, third, anything like that? Anything on the horizon or what? <laughs> first things first is clean off the workbench yeah, that things yeah. been piling, piling, piling on okay. and finding a place for everything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. That's that's about the first thing that needs to get done. Um, 
Yeah. Have you actually fixed anything this week, Hank? Any any repairs or anything? No, not yet. Like I said, uh, you know, I pulled in a few things that you know I'm thinking of starting on and uh, just looking them over. Basically, uh oh, hi Hank. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, typical mixer. I'll yeah. put the link in the chat in case somebody <laughs> from the UK wants to come up. Anyhow, yeah. all right, let me get to our second guest, which would be our friend Klaus. What's going on there, Mr. Klaus? Good day, gentlemen. Everybody in the chat? Uh, Klaus? Well, not much. No. Uh, well, actually, quite a lot. <laughs> I was just I was just preparing for the stream here, and this week since last Sunday, I've done three chainsaws, Four push mowers and one tractor, including spindles on the deck. Now the season is it getting? Is it still okay, cold I, I, there? And you I, still I, still have I, snow? I, I, what's, what's I thought on? I had another three weeks. Really? You know, okay. But apparently not. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, battled a, a a you know we all love it uh, a regular Nikki carburetor, uh, but this time around I won. What was the issue with it? It um, the uh, the wells plug for the idle circuit that's on the outside of the carburetor had come loose. Ah. So, so it, it, it was it, it, it flooding was hunting. or just oh high no it, it, it was hunting uh, yeah. quite quite significantly yep, and yep. I'm I thought, I thought this is a no brainer you know I'm, yeah, yeah. you carburetor you're gone I'm putting a new one on you but when I got to the part and and all of a sudden this this little wells plug fell I said what was that. Now let me ask you though, this uh, Nikki is this the one with the two uh, GIS screws that hold it, hold the flow yes, pole on a cast yes. one? Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Yeah, but it's 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 OEM bricks and all, yep, but yep. Uh, and I didn't change the uh, little gaskets inside the little the little. Oh, main the little bit. one, yeah, the square section one that people say to change. Yep. yep. Yeah, the um, the little main jet. It kept falling out of of, of that. Oh, that little corner. one that gets lost. Yeah, yeah. I yep. gave it a dab of grease and. There it was, and cool. put it all together. So now, what was that on, Klaus? What was it actually on? It, it was on an MTD uh, on a uh, Briggs. Uh, I don't know, six, seven, sixteen, seventeen horse, mm. something like that, single cylinder. So yeah, and uh, helped the neighbor out. Of course, he had an old tractor that wouldn't start. Did that this morning too. Yep. Uh, that's the closest thing to a house call that I do is I cross the road and go to my neighbor. Yeah. Now, didn't uh, someone ask you if it did? Who was? That asked you right to do a house call, or did you do how? So didn't someone ask you that this week if you did house no, calls? No, well, I, I get regular calls yeah. oh, if yeah. I do house yeah. calls, and mm -hmm. it's the same answer. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm, I'm not set up for it, and yeah. I don't want to be set up for it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'll go within a mile or two if it's something stupid, like it doesn't crank or something like that, where, okay, a jump box, a couple screwdrivers, whatever. But as far as doing a major repair, I'll yeah. take the trailer with me and say, nah, it's coming back, you know? Yeah. I mean, I could do that, but to, to be honest, mm. I don't want to. Uh, it's too much of a hassle for yeah. me. Well, the thing that happens to me a lot, excuse me, is that a lot of people don't tell you the whole truth, meaning, oh, I did this, I did this, and it does this, and it doesn't do that. And then you get there, and it's like, wait a minute. This is nothing like what you talked about. This is yeah. not the problem you talked yeah. about. That's yeah. what gets me. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, who who's going to pay for the mileage and and the, and yeah. the time and and you know, and I I simply don't want to. Uh, I simply didn't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to bother with it. Yeah. I mean, I have enough in my shop as it is, mm -hmm. uh, as as part time mechanic, and uh, I don't need the extra stuff. Yeah. And you know, if, if you if, if you picked up a mower from, from someone, took it back, fixed it, drove it back, if something happens to that mower, yeah. you, you you have to go get it again. Oh yeah. Oh callbacks suck. I hate callbacks. Yeah. And uh, and I mean here in the shop, if, if if something is off, if I forgot something or it doesn't run or something, yeah. they have to bring it back to me and I will fix it. If it's me, it's for free. Yeah. If it's not, it's gonna cost them. And 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 it's that's just how it goes. I mean, I can't, I can't, I have a hard enough time planning the logistics of getting enough tractors and machines in, mm. but not enough. So I can't close the, the garage door. But is, isn't that your rule, Klaus, that you will yeah. not take in something if you can't keep it protected in the shop? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, everything uh, stays overnight in the shop. Nothing yeah. is out. Is that just because you're afraid someone might steal it or it may get damaged? No, or something, I or? mean, I'm, I live in a residential neighborhood and um, 
my other half of the household, yeah. she doesn't want to look at rusty old tractors yeah, right. in no, the okay. back it's, in the yard. And, and second, right. and second, it's not insured. Oh, I got you. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I know a lot of times, you know, like I, I've got, at least I have decent neighbors. I, I do have a collection of crap in the back, but they don't really break them off on me. But I'm hoping this year to clean up a lot of it and get a decent size workshop shed mm -hmm. to keep stuff in because, you know, it, it does look like a little bit, not a junkyard, but, you know, I'm collecting stuff, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. anywho, but like anyone, you can't turn down a deal, right? Especially if you get one, get one <laughs> and, cheap, right? Well, I have to. <laughs> Yeah. All right. All right. We got uh, Mr. Wayne in the background here. Let me call it Mr. All EP right. Performance. Hey, Wayne, what's going on? Hello, everybody. <laughs> don't miss me in the comments because it says join chat. I don't know how to do it. I join chat. It shows other stuff up there. I need my IT guy, and he's working on his Mustang again. So, <laughs> uh -oh. hey, what, what was that number? What was everybody. that number you said for the car? Okay. Behind? See if you could pull up, yeah, I'm gonna look up. Uh, a drawing. Or the carb four nine one five nine zero. Okay, let's see. And see if that Briggs and Stratton cart does they should have a view of that upside down. I think yep. it's up yeah, there. Look, I'm looking at it now. Let's see what we got. Now oh, I yeah. think that, that that could be just a blind black brass plug that fits in there. Mm. Either that or it's one that's got like an emulsion tube on it. Yeah. Yeah, that carburetor is called a chocomatic, is what they're calling it. Uh, wow, two hundred dollars. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. We, we we got stuff there, Hank. Wow. wow. Show and tell. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have one, Hank. Hold on, let me zoom in. Well, remember, there's three different pul uh, jet carburetors. There's a vacuum jet carburetor. There's yeah, one pulsa piece jet. Flow jet. Yeah, there's all different. Small ones. one pil uh, one piece flow jet yep, and yep. a pulsa jet. You know, and yep. a large pulsa jet. So, what? I don't know which one Mick is talking about because uh is it just me or is it, are you fuzzy? It, yeah, he's fuzzy. I'm fuzzy. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. fuzzy, yeah. Hank. Not just your beard, your picture. <laughs> well, do you, does know. it have that brass plug like we're looking at, Hank? Do you actually have one with that? This one does. Yeah, the small and the large pulsa jet have the. Uh, can, yeah, zoom in. Put it toward the camera. Let me see. Yeah. All right. There it is. There it is. Yep. And what that is, is a mixture screw. It is a mixture screw. Oh, yeah, the real long one. Okay, but that's what he's talking about. We need to get a part number for that real long screw. Yeah, Mick, is that it? That looks like an emulsion tube. Is it an emulsion yeah. tube or is it a needle? No, What's no on the needle. end, Hank? Is it, it looks a needle? like an emulsion tube to it looks me. like an emulsion tube. Yeah, yeah it is emulsion. Oh, okay. The idle that... jet uh, is the one next to it. Yeah. And the idle jet has a small needle. No, Mick's saying that's not it. Mick, what the hell is it then? Mick's saying no. Well, no. I don't know what he's looking for. Yeah. I mean, Mick, when, when we were talking last night, he was saying it's an attachment screw, a mounting screw. And I, that doesn't make sense. I, let me, I'm going to try and call up the picture. Hold on, guys. I'm going to try and call up the picture and see if... Uh, I can do that. Hold on. You guys chat. I'm going to go and I'm going to try and share screen when I find the picture. All right. right back. Okay. Who's got seniority? Uh, it's not me. I know that. Not, not doing me, it but by age or what? There's, there's the other moderator. Uh, uh, there I have go. seniority. Has, it's, it's, the other it's, it's moderator. So Stella has seniority. the power. There's All old right. guy Hank, old guy Wayne, and old lady Stella. Hey, Stella. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I got the gray hair for that. Believe me, I know. Hey, John. Anybody work on a Ryan aerator? Nope. No? Nope. Never Ryan heard of aerator. it. Nope. Uh, nope. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. We used to be in competition with Ryan, and that was uh, Salsco aerators we used to make. And yeah. we took a lot of the ideas Ryan had and implemented them into Salsco. Why? What's up? Well, they've got, we got a, a Ryan, or it could be Bunton, or it could be Bobcat. They're all the same. And uh, one of the things they've got on there is steel knobs. You know, they got like, I don't know, like like a star where you could turn and, and tighten things up. And it's on a 3 8 I think, 24 threads per inch rod. And it kind of holds the one assembly together. And you can, you're supposed to be able to undo them. Well, man, I had to put the torch to it just to move it. 
<laughs> and it's just, it must be damaged. They must have damaged the threads or something. So I either got to order new parts out of Hamilton, or I think I'm just going to take the induction gun, heat these handles up, these steel handles up, get them backed right off, and then retap and thread everything. Yeah. And load it up with any seas and see if that'll get it going. All right. Here we go, folks. That's the plot. That's the picture. Can you see it? Yeah. And that's okay. what you circled. I showed you. Yeah. Now, Mick is saying it's a mounting screw. It looks like an emulsion tube to me. It is. I mean, that's the one I showed you. Yeah. So, and you think it's that carb that you had uh, said, Wayne, that, that number? The. Uh, yeah, four nine one five nine zero. If you can pull up a draw yeah. a picture of that, yeah, uh, hold on. And I think it shows what Nick shows there is the ones uh, uh and like an adjusting screw, and the other one sits See? inside the recess. I don't know. He's saying it's not. Oh, he said it's not that <laughs> number. <laughs> but he doesn't have the the number off the shroud to tell us so we can look it up with model type and code. So it's like I don't know what to tell you, Mixter. I don't know. <laughs> oh God. He no engine no, code. John saying no the hole goes all the no way engine through. Code, no fun. All the way through what? To the tank? Because this is the one that bolts on top of the tank. What do you got, Hank? Well, oh, I don't know if that helps them so any. Uh, it's kind of blurry, Hank. Yeah. Hold on. What's, yeah. It what's it called? I'll see if I can look it up in the book. What? What's the... Hey Hank, you have a bad connection. You're yeah, all you're, pixelated. You're all just read him. Just read the number off. Um, What's it calling it? Pulse jet? Pulse a jet? What's it calling it? It's called a uh, so small Mick, when you say one it goes, piece operator. When small you, one piece pulse a jet. Pulse a jet. Okay, Mick. When you say it goes in the tank, the tank has a thread on it where this is threaded into that to hold it down. Is that what you're saying? I just want to make. Why don't you just come up and talk to us, man? Yeah. Well, this one doesn't thread into the tank. It has its own bowl. Yeah, why, just, why don't Why don't, why don't we why, why don't we park this until Mick comes up and, and we can? Wait, he just sent there. another image. Let me see if I can get that share screen. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna try and zoom in. Hold on, Mick. I'm working on an image. Hold on. He's point. Uh, yeah, but Mick, the one your point. Uh, the one you're pointing to in the picture you sent me goes in from the side. Is it a screw that goes in from the side? Hold on. Hold on. So, let's see who's in the basement here. So, uh, hold, um, hold on, while, while you guys, while the people who know what they're looking for are looking that up, um, yes. let's see if we can help. Um, where is this question? Hold on. Anybody else can, can I put a carb, read this question? Uh, Kenny, so, you keep on doing what you're doing. Let yeah, Cloud. Yeah, you, yeah, you, no, you, yeah you, you, can, you, can, you can do that makeshift, yeah. but there's a reason why that solenoid is in that yeah. design. Any so, better? So, yeah, much better, Hank. Much better. Yeah, when um, you say you posted the missing bolt, you actually have one? I'm, I'm looking at what's I said, I said, guys, why don't we park this until Mick comes up? He can show us. How about uh, that? I'm looking at what's okay. up now. Uh, yes, you can. You can put another carburetor on. Uh, but you wait, do wait risk, Mick, you, let me you ask you. I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on. M Mick's photo, I'm going to share screen. Hold on. Let me try and share screen. Hold on. Because he has something in the photo. I thought that was just a piece of a tube or something he was showing. I think that's the exact screw that he's looking at. Hold on. Let me see. I think the fiddle fairies uh, put that carp together. Hold on. Let me see if I can share the picture he has. <laughs> hold on. A lot of those are out. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Share screen. Share screen. Share screen. Window. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's just not a. I mean, I I saw that last night, Mick. But that picture, it's kind of weird. It looks like it's something. Yeah. It looks like, it looks like a like a uh, like the pickup tube that's just been crushed on the end of it. But that yeah. that might be just a hard picture to look at. Is this yours, Mick, or is this someone else asking you this question? Because right, can I'm, you guys see that? I'm yep. kind of confused. Can you see Mick's picture? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we can yeah. see it. 
He's got this brass tube in his thumb and forefinger. Is that the screw? The whole screw that you're holding, Mick? I thought that was just a piece of tube. And you were pointing. What the hell is that noise? Not me. Not me. I don't know. Somebody. You, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. Yes, we can see that. All right. Because I'm trying to share. I mean, the only thing I have even remotely seen that looks like whatever is being held up here yeah. is the pickup tube. <laughs> Oh, he's showing how deep the hole is with that brass piece. But it's oh. threaded on the bottom, and it's got a slotted head. It's Phillips head. But is it a straight-sided or a button head, uh, Mick? Is it flat on top, or is it like a button head? Well, he doesn't know if the screw's missing, does he? Huh. I mean, I'm all terribly confused of how does he not know what the screw is that he has in his hand. I'm yeah, but I don't think that's the screw in his hand. I think he's just trying to show us the depth of it. Right. What John said. But the one that Hank had showed in the picture that Mick had with the circle around it, it's Mick actually it's Phillips. a it's straight sided Phillips. screw, but that one usually has a slot in it, not a Phillips. And the is whole it, is it, screw is just to is, the left. Is, I got to ask is that screw, because Mick says here it's a Phillips. The yeah. only Phillips screws that are on that carburetor. Oh, wait, 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 Mick, you're not talking about a screw in the base, are you? One of the base screws yeah, that screw yeah, to the tank? Yeah. And it all, the bracket it holds, that's the uh, that's the PCV uh, yeah. tube. Yeah. Okay, Klaus, can you repeat what you told Makeshift Farm? Apparently he had a bad internet connection. You want me to repeat it? That's going to cost you extra, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, you can, you can put on a carburetor without the fuel shutoff solenoid. But, but. There is a reason okay. why they put it in that engine design. So so you may get some backfiring. And uh, even though backfiring per se is not a problem, yeah. it, it can be, actually, uh, if you're unlucky. Um, I'm telling you, aftermarket carburetors uh, for, for those are dirt cheap. Get one of those. All right. I yeah, think I what Mick is – oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, and he'd want to throttle it down as much as he can and let it idle yes. for a while before he shuts it off. Absolutely. Yeah, don't Absolutely. let it throw fuel into a yeah. glowing yeah. muffler. All right, so what Mick's saying is there's four screws that bolted down, three are on the base, and one is a longer one from the top. Okay, yeah. now that we know that, let's – okay. All right. No, 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 it's a, it's a challenge, and we, we love the challenge, but it's – okay, let me try and – well, well hey, I'll look in the hey, background. Hey, hey. Even now, the slow Dane gets it now. I know exactly what he's talking about. Hey, now that, now that Stella's here, I can look and look. <laughs> hey, I get it now. I've seen one of those. <laughs> no, it does or no we. Did it, has or anyone no ever we. seen that saw? The bicentennial one? I've seen that before. With the red no, color. I have not. The red, white, no, blue colors. No, yeah, it was kind no. of cool saw. Yeah. So hey, uh, to, to get to get back on track, uh, everybody's weak. All right. Hold on. Now we got, wait, Brock's here. Uh, Brock. Yeah. How, talk about your week in small engines. What happened? Didn't happen. Oh well, I've been getting ready for uh, the season. I got all my my uh, riders uh, all ready the other day. I uh, actually had to work on my own rider and uh, do an oil change and that. You know, just getting ready for the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any customer stuff that you work on this week? No, no, I'm a flipper, so I just. Oh, kinda, I got you. you. Okay, yep. okay, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Oh, that's cool. All right. Uh, we had Brock, um, Brett in there. I don't. Oh, there he is. Hold on, Brett. I don't see. I see a light in a wall. Are you in the picture? Because he could talk about. He's it. there. All right, hold on. All right, Brett. What was your week like in small engine? What'd you do? Anything? A uh, bunch of them. Uh, do do tell. <laughs> Where do you want to start? It's you decide. Share. <laughs> go. There you go. Well, I <clears throat> more or less just mowers this week, although I did, you know, I seen that thing that uh, we were just looking at on that carburetor. Mm. That fourth screw does go down clear through the top of that into the tank. Mm. It's a long screw. Yeah, we just can't find a parts list for it, showing us what the Briggs part number is so we can isolate them, it. Some of them had four. I just did one yesterday that mm -hmm. had that same carburetor. Mm. It was on a tiller, five horse. That's what I'm working on right now. Yeah. Yep, this is an old craftsman. Yep, that's what mine is. 
So, now, you, so you might Ray, find that Ray, there is no part that. number that you got to buy a carb rebuild kit to get that part. Yep. That they don't sell it indivi that, individually. If there is right. a carb, if there's a carb kit for it from Briggs, you're not going to get those parts individually. No. No. Except the gaskets, you may be able to get gaskets, but. Yeah. And these screws were a T20. Odd one I did he, 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 Yeah. Nick said his was Phillips. His must have been older then. Yeah. Actually, a 491590 it was superseded. It, it used to be called the 390417. And also a 392152. So 491590 is the newest version of three or four old styles. But that's, I think on that saying. on that drawing, it shows exactly like the picture you put up originally with the slotted screw. Yeah. That shows right there in the drawing that it fits down inside of that pocket. Yeah. Oh, no, it shows that it fits down inside. But Mick's saying it's Phillips screw. That one's a slotted screw. Yeah. But that carburetor is $200 plus. Dollars. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, it is. I'm still trying to figure it out. Let's see. Now, how many of you have been running into problems with recharging on these 30-inch uh, riding mowers? Recharging we, what? The you know, like the Cub Cadets, Troy Bilts, the MTD stuff, where the battery's not being recharged, either rectifier or flywheel. Not very had, often, to be honest. Yeah, I've had rectifier issues. Oh, I only had one stator issue on one of those, just yeah, one we've, just for rectifiers. We've, we've got three right now, two of them. You know, the, the offer is, okay, you're, you're not recharging your battery. The easiest fix and the cheapest fix for you is buy a battery tender if you got power and just keep it on your machine when you're not using it. Two of the customers decided to do that. Mm -hmm. The last customer is a lady that's somewhat handicapped and can't really bend down and bend over and doesn't want to do it. Mm -hmm. So she said, go ahead and take it apart and see what the issue is. So Jake diagnosed the rectifier is good. It's got to be in the flywheel or the the coil assembly under the flywheel. We take the flywheel off, and we got three magnets that are all chopped up. There's pieces missing off them. Yeah, Stella, he doesn't have that info. We asked that us. flywheel is three hundred and twenty five dollars Canadian. Wow. Ay, 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 ay. Now there's. So now we're we've got she's given us the okay to get the new one and we'll put it on and then we'll check and it should work properly. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's any damage to the uh magneto coil that's there. Yep. Like yep. that all looks good. The wiring all looks good. It doesn't look like anything's been damaged. Mm -hmm. But we're really not gonna know that until we put the new flywheel on. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes you have to buy them as a kit too, because of the magnets and all that. Yeah. We got a hold of a <clears throat> couple pieces that we're going to flip. One of them was a Craftsman uh, wheeled weed eater. And it had been sitting for Lord only knows how long. Mm -hmm. But I got into that carburetor and it was nasty. And I told the boss, I said, let me take the carburetor home. Well, I threw it in the ultrasonic last night. First trial run with an actual carburetor. Cleaned up nicely. Put it back on the machine today. Perfect. Andrew. Hey, uh, William has been texting me some pictures out of the manual that you have, uh, Hank, and I've got the same manual. But it doesn't show that mounting screw, William. We're looking no. for that actual screw. And I, I haven't. I've got that same manual. Everybody does. But we just we can't find that screw it's weird like i said we'll uh, we'll keep talking i'll keep looking and, and we'll see what happens but is uh, it a briggs engine kenny oh yeah, yeah yeah it's a briggs with the the uh tank mounted carb we're yeah the i'll check i'll check my uh stock of carbs in the back yeah. and see if well, hank actually an has one right you said you yeah. Have one, hank? yeah yeah hank has one. hold on yeah no, but nick said that's now, not the part no no look right? on top where is it on top hold on oh you, are you you want this one the one that shows that counter bore where the screw goes no mm -hmm. go to the left yep 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 no no yeah, no but see it, that's yeah. not it no it's not it well that's yeah. that's the one that's it's, it's, circled it's not, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, in the picture yeah 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 the one, one on, on the, the bottom there we have that hole is that the hole that goes through the one that he's holding in his left hand 
Uh, no. no. The one he's holding in his right hand looks like what Mick has. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it, it is. But the picture was different uh, though because it, it was in in. It's it's it that carburetor, but you know what? What the, the base the base that goes against the tank it's got <laughs> it's got three or four bolt or screws, right? <laughs> but but this carburetor it has one that goes through the carburetor into the tank. Into the tank. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll, yeah. we'll we'll look in the background. You know, mix like move on, move on. Yeah. All right. Now we'll look. We'll, yeah. we'll keep going. All right. Anything else, Brett? Anything else that challenged you this week? Well, we got one I'm working on right now. We just acquired a snowblower yesterday. Uh huh. It's a 2004 model Craftsman 27 inch with a Briggs motor on it, and can't work the electric start because somebody got crazy with the cord and yanked two of the three prongs out of the out of the plug. Yeah, and I don't think yeah. you can get that separate. I think you got to get a starter. Yeah. No, I mean, what I've no. done is I've adapted those to yeah. a Briggs. I mean, I'm sorry, to a Tecumseh box. You know, the little Tecumseh box. Yep. Because I usually have those in my scrap pile, and I'll just cut one hey, and Bruce. adapt it. Because the way those work with the prongs, honestly, Brett, you can actually take like a plug that has the two spades and the ground terminal that have little screws inside the plug and you can use that to rebuild that connector they actually come apart you can actually slice it with a hot knife put new two tabs in the ground plug and glue it back together you can fix them well we're going to figure something out yeah, I, mean, I like a soldering see. iron with an exacto knife tip on it and that way you can get in there and just take the thing apart you know yep yeah, right. I got something Nick, Nick, I forgot are, to done, tell you. No, hold on. We got we got Bruce. Uh, Bruce got to share. Yeah, hold his on, week. hold on, Brucey. It's your turn. What have you done? Well, well I uh, made a video of that trooper lawnmower. Saw it. Cool. Making sure What's I get that? unmuted. Uh -oh. Saw it. It run. It ran right. <laughs> <laughs> without an air filter. They've been using it without an air filter for months. Hard to believe. Yeah. Must be the moist climate versus the dry climate, eh? Can, but you, I find, love it. Yeah. can you find them an air filter in Mexico? I gave up. <laughs> it's, the language barrier is so hard, and I have no transportation. If I had a car, I'd drive down to Home Depot and get one. But, in, yeah. in a pinch, yeah. stockings. I've used that. I don't know. You don't usually wear those. I find them kind of. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so usually wear. That's I saw your video today, Brad. Right? I thought. Go ahead, Bruce. I watched your video today. It was good. Thank you. I know everybody else has probably already put their two bits there, but I was cleaning house today. But we're having company tonight. So it's cleaning house. Oh, Back to small engines. I don't well, know. When, when are you coming home, Bruce? Week and a half. Oh, okay. March 19th, fun. right? Yeah. Are you actually home on March 19th or you're flying back on the 19th? You know, we have we have friends that stayed here for a few days. And to pay us back, they don't have to. They're gonna come to the airport and pick us up and take us back to Red Deer. Isn't that nice? Yeah. yeah, and you're tired, and you've been traveling all day, and you, then you got another two-hour journey at the end of it. It's like, oh. yeah, that is nice. Right. Anyway, Brett, I liked your video. I, I'm sure everybody's discussed that already, but yeah, he used your product, Simple Green. Yeah, Simple Green Aircraft. Yeah, I don't use the air. I've never used the aircraft, but I'm going to have to switch no, because the old stuff, the new stuff. On the mean and simple green has ammonia. You gotta buy the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, this was the aircraft, and it did not make that carburetor dark at all. It looked nice. Yeah. Well, I put it back on the machine that it came off of today. Got everything assembled. Hit the primer four or five times. She fired right up. It worked so good. I brought home an even nastier carburetor. I'm gonna do over the weekend. Yeah, yeah that wasn't actually that bad compared to some. Yeah. Well, the one that I brought yeah. home today was a lot worse. So we're gonna yeah. and, uh, uh, Kenny, did you get any questions in for this week? I actually didn't because I only posted the um, 
the link and everything you know, hours yeah. before. I only had a few hours. The only thing I had this week, in fact, there's somebody in the chat now. Uh, GTO YouTube, where is he? He's the one that was asking me about Seven Horse Briggs, and he had the piston rings only gapped. To, here we go. This guy here, GTO YouTube. He had asked me about rebuilding a Seven Horse Briggs aluminum engine, and he said he had the ring gap at five thousandths. I said, no, 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 way too small. You want at yeah. least ten to twelve thousandths because of the thermal expansion, they'll they'll split. So. Hopefully he's he opened up that gap. I'd say ten to twelve. The rule of thumb most of the time is two to three thousandths per inch of bore, and that's what you have for a ring gap. So hopefully he's opened <laughs> that up so he doesn't blow up those rings. Okay, Michael Wart Roberts is asking about torquing on aluminum versus steel. Uh, Would you okay. use the same torque setting for going into aluminum as going into steel screws? Uh, screws. Uh, See that? Uh, bolts. I would assume he's talking bolts. Head bolts. Yeah, I wouldn't even go close. Yeah, definitely not. I know with aluminum, like I said, I, I don't use a torque wrench on a lot of stuff like that because over the years you develop a feel, but aluminum, yeah. tread lightly because easy to snap, you know, easy to strip it. You See, know? We don't have yeah, that what, up in Canada. What, we have aluminum. Yeah, See, whatever he's working on, you should check out the, the specs for the torque settings. Normally you're going to find them on like service manuals yeah. that you could pull up online. Hmm. Briggs, Steve, that, Briggs themselves have the Briggs small engine check sheet, check sheet and they have a lot of torque specs on that sheet. Oh yeah. Well, you know what it is too? You, you look inside the beginning of any manual and it tells you based on the diameter of the screw what the recommended torque is, but there are different torques for a steel screw into cast iron, a steel screw into steel, and a steel right. screw into aluminum. Yeah. There's three different designations. In fact, I could grab my machinery's handbook and it'll show you basically what the three are. If I get a chance later, I'll do that. I'll grab my, my handbook and show you. But yes, there are different values for the different materials going into it. And now the newer handbooks actually even have plastic in there because people are screwing screws in the plastic. So a lot of different ones. But anywho. Steve's, Steve's so, got a question here. Yeah, about GX160 carbs. I mean, there's so many Chinesium ones out there. Yeah, but let me ask you a question. Though. When you buy a Chinesium GX160 off of, say, Amazonian, are there actually brands on them now, like the Huai yeah. and things like that? Yeah. Do you see brands yeah. on them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What, about, what about HIPAA? Do, do, do they have one? Yeah, but is it a HIPAA? Does it say HIPAA on the actual carb? I, I've seen I, the, I, I, the Huai ones. I've seen those. H-U-A-Y-I. Yeah, Hawaii. but, but those, those are OEM. No, no, no. He's saying yeah. those are good. No, the y -way, yeah, the Huai ah. come on the, on the Honda carbs. They come on a Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of aftermarket distributors. I don't know that they actually have that name right on the carburetor. Yeah, the problem but I see mean, with the GX160 Chinesium carburetors is always look and verify the linkages when you buy them. Because how many times, oh, it fixed yeah, the GX160, yeah. there's six or eight variations on yeah. linkages. For the and choke. then you're trying to take it off. And, oh yeah, especially on you know, you know like the on uh, like with I the can jump in one sixties where you have that gray plastic piece that's the mm -hmm. choke actuator lever. Yes. If you buy one that has a choke that's with a pull rod, it won't work with the kind that has the plastic yep. coming from the top. So I always it, say take the car. The OEMs on Hondas carburetors are quite affordable. I wouldn't. They even, are not. Yeah, they I wouldn't are. even. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, fifteen dollars. What, 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 no, no, hold on, guys. It it may be affordable on your side of the pond. Over <laughs> yeah. here, yeah. they are hideously expensive. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah now, we, there's nothing cheap on your side of the pond. <laughs> no, and particularly not if it says Honda on the side. No. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. looking at some of these uh, carburetors on so, some of these power so, mowers. Yeah. And they are actually those who eyes. Yeah. Now, yeah, which I the who eye is a good carburetor. I've never had any issue with those carburetors. Yeah. But correct me if I'm wrong. The carburetors. Oh, Stella. <laughs> Somebody's crushing ice. Yeah, yeah Stella's making nice. martinis. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, she can't do that unless she shares them with us all. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, big problem I've seen with the aftermarket carburetors that you buy off of Amazon, 
is the quality of, for example, the threads on that for the uh, if they're threaded idler. at all. I've got some unthreaded. Yes, and and the threads yeah. on the idler <laughs> screw, for example, you on yeah. on that on the two strokes carbs especially. Yeah. Uh, we've got them in where you set the idle right at the right RPM. You're running it. You can hear it changing. Yeah. And, and the only way we fixed them for the customer when they brought them with these aftermarket carbs in yeah. is go and put thread locker on that screw yeah. Yeah. so that they can't touch it. Yeah, it's so sloppy it leaks air. Yeah, yeah normally yeah, we put the red on what, what about What about Stenson Rotary? Don't they make an aftermarket carburetor yeah. for the GX? Yeah, never had any issues with those. See, yeah. that, that's, that must be the way to go, Steve. But supposedly yeah. those are made by OEM manufacturers that are manufacturing the OEM carbs. Well, For that's, them. that's yeah. about it. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's as good as it gets. Now, my biggest thing is just making sure the linkage is the same so it at least hooks up. Yeah. You know. And the other thing you'll find on, on the aftermarket ones from Amazon is the the for example, the choke plate or the choke opening might be bigger. The intake might be a different size. Like yeah. Mm. There's all kinds of issues, and a lot of them, they'll tell you it, it's a replacement for this carburetor, and when you yeah. order it just by that, without yeah. looking at, at the dimensions or the photos yeah. really closely, yeah. you find out it's totally the wrong carburetor. Yeah. It's not oh, even yeah. the right carb that you want. Yeah. One thing I found, too, with the Chinesium carburetors, be aware or be beware of the gaskets that come in those because some of them have holes that are so big that it blocks or exposes the transfer slot for venting yeah. and they won't work properly. Make yeah. sure the gasket, if you're replacing the gasket that's on there, because usually they're that green material that gets kind of funky, make sure mm -hmm. the gaskets that come with the Chinese carbs are the exact same shape with the holes in the right locations for venting, because I've seen them where it doesn't match and it, it'll be a vacuum leak. Terrell actually did a video on it where he had a GX 160 with like a GX two something gasket and it exposed something and it was a vacuum leak. So yeah, yeah it was, the it was right. there around uh, the adapter plate. Yeah. But you have to make sure the gasket matches perfectly because sometimes the hole is so big, it's exposing it to outside air. Okay, so well, we one. had one here. Wow, we've got back. a nice question in the in the chat. Did she at least put it in? Hold on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that mower is, Klaus. I'll leave that to you. I'm not familiar with Clippos. Uh, yeah, I'm on Clippos is just a mower. A uh, 55 Intec. There's uh, ten. Uh, a 55 Intec. Uh, it's been sitting for nine years. Uh, well, you got to do almost everything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I would start with the carb. It needs to be disassembled and cleaned. Uh, check spark, check cables, um, change check the oil. oil. Yeah, f uh, replace any fuel, flush any fuel system you can, and uh, check gaskets. Yep, absolutely. So, and yeah, maybe and put that's some it. oil in the yeah. cylinder first, right, Klaus? Yeah, but some spray can, um, WD for some. No, even better. It's a quantum. It's even better. Is it an insect or a quantum? She said quantum. quantum now, so even better. That's even yeah, easier. Yeah, that's even easier. That's even yep. easier. Carburetor is really easy to work on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they'll and last forever. Oh, yeah, there, there are tons of uh, tons of videos out there on, oh, on yeah. how to do those carburetors. We've got a million yeah. quantum videos, sure. Yeah. Bruce's got a lot of quantums on his show. Yeah. 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 Uh, I love quantum. So, so the LMT so yeah. carburetor, great to work on. The only Lisa, issue Lisa, 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 did that answer your question? Hopefully that answered it. But Briggs Quantum, the carburetor, what I would do, it's been sitting so long, get the needle and seat kit and just change it, you know, just yeah. so you don't have issues. And uh, it'll come with a gasket for the bowl and all that yeah. stuff. And clean that and carb out and make sure, make sure it's nice and clean. If it's the priming style Quantum with the primer yep. bulb on it. On the air. If, oh, yeah. Good point. Yeah, the plastic put, base. Yeah. Before you put the air filter back on there. See if it's working. Put right. the gas in there. Look inside the throat with the plate open, the choke plate open. Prime it three times and make sure you're getting a good shot of gas coming up. If you're only getting like an eighth of an inch of gas shooting out the emulsion tube, you're yeah. not getting proper priming. Yeah. But keep in mind, Wayne, when you have the primer bulb in the front, there is no choke plate. That's in lieu of the choke. 
So yeah. you should be able to see directly into the emulsion tube yeah. pushing up. But it also, Lisa, if it doesn't prime when you're pushing on that bulb, try a second gasket on the back of that plastic piece because sometimes that second gasket will warp. account for the warpage yeah. and give you a good seal. Good. All right. And one way to, to test it, too, if you have an air compressor, or a little bit of air supply, even canned air, if you put a little bit of pressure in that primer bulb yeah. hole, and just a little bit, it should fuel should fly out of the emulsion tube. That'll tell yeah. you that it's working properly. It may not work with your hand because it, the seal may not be perfect. But if you put a little more air pressure in there and it does squirt up, you know, the circuitry itself is working. You just may either need a new plastic backing plate, yeah. another gasket, or maybe try and flatten it out. Okay. But I, the double gasket trick right. always works, usually. You know? Yeah, there's so many yeah. problems with those plastic Yeah. Bags. Well, people yeah. over-torque the crap out of those three screws, and it just bends the heck out of them. You know? Yeah. So. Well, I think I'm going to put up a video on my little trick. I use RTV silicone. Do you? Yeah, uh, right where that – and normally it's always on the bottom. If you ever take yeah. a, a quantum uh, air cover off, Yep. And you don't damage that gasket. If you yeah. look at that little hockey stick shape that's supposed to be cut in there, mm -hmm. the part the part that's always not deep enough impressed is right at the very bottom. Yeah. So before I put any together, I always take uh, bamboo skewer, yeah. dip it in, dip it into the RTV silicone, and run a bead along that edge. Yeah. So it sits a little proud, and then I put it on, and I always get. Oh, uh, when I prime, I always get at least three eighths of an inch of gas shooting out. Hmm. Wow, that's a good little trick. Got it. No, no, it no. is, but you got to be careful. Hello, because no. <laughs> it might suck inside there, right, Klaus? Yeah, or you may even plug up the air yeah. canal. So you got to be careful, but yeah. it it can be done. Yeah. yeah. Usually, I just I have a uh, I always have two or three air box back cover plates in yep. stock oh, non-oem they're they're fully yeah. chinese but they work yeah there we go all yeah, right so when you're looking at it lisa okay yeah if you have the primer see the gasket that's on there sometimes that plate itself will yeah. warp slightly and if you put a double gasket on there or if what wayne does he'll actually put a little bit of silicone on there it should seal it so that when you pump that red bubble in there You'll get the yeah. fuel squirting up through the. But, All you're but, doing is but, pressurizing but, the flow. The but Kenny, flow but Kenny, that sealant, it doesn't go on the, on, on this side of the of the gasket. It goes underneath. Yeah, yeah on the other side. Yeah. Under on the J, other side. On the yeah. J hook. Yeah. 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 Oh, in the basement. Yeah. I like doing the double gasket trick though. It it works almost yeah. every single time. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce is back. Yeah. Um, I had to use my phone. Uh -oh. Really? As a what do you call that? A link device? Oh, uh, hotspot. Yeah, hotspot. Thank you. Now I've used the double gasket, and maybe fifty percent of the time it works. The thing that works the best is don't screw up the original gasket if it was working. Yeah, because it's thicker than the aftermarkets. Yeah. yeah, the aftermarkets are hard. I've I've even boiled them in water to try to soften them up, and it, yeah. I still find that I still put. Normally, if I'm working on them, I still put that bead of gasket material on the bottom edge. Yeah, yeah, Lisa, you won't go wrong with a kit if you had an OEM, but I'd recommend an OEM kit for that, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I have the I have the luxury of having lots of spare filter but, covers, but but Lisa, uh, sorry, Bruce, uh, Lisa. Try it first before you start pounding oh, money yeah. into into yeah, parts. Yeah. Try it out first. See yes. see how far you get. And then, if you all of a sudden need a gasket and you feel you got you need more than a gasket, yeah. you may need a washer or something. Then go get the kit. But try it out first. Those yeah. engines are, are are pretty robust. They 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 tend to yeah. take repairs nicely. And don't strip the threads. Yeah, because <laughs> it's only plastic. You know, <laughs> I can add one small thing. Make sure because that puff of air goes into the carburetor, make sure that bowl gasket is actually okay, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. And also, yeah. It, what about a vent on that, Bruce? Isn't there one of the, one of the screw, one of the holes is a vent that comes out the front of it, right? You got to make sure no, it's not no, plugged. No, yeah, that's, that's, actually no, that's, that's, one. that's the one that takes the impulse from the primer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're still talking the quantums. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But there's yeah, a screen, too. Yeah. 
right? There's a screen in behind the primer bulb. Yeah. That yeah, you got to make sure is clean. I've seen them plugged up with dust. Yeah, but usually that's because the primer bulb itself has been defective. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but if I mean if if that is if the primer bulb is is still intact, he said try it out. I mean don't don't go and buy parts ahead of time because yeah. you may not need them. And the primer bulb itself, I've even gone to Home Depot and buy them for two dollars. The little red primer yeah, bulb, they're not, little yeah, washer, yeah. Star yeah, washer. Yeah. You know. No, there's no Star Wash on these. Uh, no, that's the oh no! This it's the it's which one's that? The plastic clip, the plastic ring. Yeah, 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 the, ring with the, two, yeah the little the plastic ring that snaps yeah, in. The yeah, there's two yeah. two no snap way. fit tabs that you yeah. can press yeah. it comes out. And if you're using a screwdriver to get it out, watch it. Don't impale your hand with a screwdriver. Well, or impale the bulb. I did that one time <laughs> yeah. where I actually impaled the bulb, put a slit in it, and I didn't know it. Man, I'm like, absolutely no man? idea what you're talking about. I got the OEM <gasps> tools for removal. Yeah, so do we. Oh, like, don't talk the about the socket versus <laughs> That's the million right, dollar yeah. tool. We got the uh, OEM tool to take it out and the OEM tool uh, to put it back in. No, we're not talking yeah. about that. Sorry. I have that tool. There you go, Bruce. Good tool. Uh, well, you I mean, mean the, didn't, didn't we the have a whole conversation needle? when Mick yeah. used to do these? Did we have like an hour long conversation? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And uh, what's his name? Uh, Phil made a tool. Yeah. He did, yeah, yeah. You could make them out Tom of uh, PVC tool, right? tubing. Yeah. BS. Yeah. BS. Yeah. Unbelievable. But that OEM tool just feels so nice in the palm of your hand when you. Yes. It's got the nice yeah, mushroom. But you know what? Yeah. No, no, hold on, hold on. To me, okay. it looks like a freaking mushroom. All right. Yeah. Well, it works yeah. like a mushroom, but it's works, a very comfortable mushroom. It, it's you know, like that toy that the kids use. Bop it, twist it, pull it. Bop it, <laughs> twist it. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And if My Phil's out there watching at our hourly rate, it costs twice as much as the tool for me to make one. So it, I bought it. a three-quarter socket. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, done. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. crazy. Lisa, that was a great question. And, and was, yeah. do report back. I mean, whenever you get a oh, yeah. chance to work on that thing, uh, yeah. Right. We're usually here on Saturdays around this time. So, yep. And uh, usually, uh, my email's usually right there. And uh, you can see it and ask us questions. Or even in the comments on any of our videos, any of us. Yeah. If you see any yeah. of our videos and yeah. you want to ask us a question yeah. and you don't know how to contact us, put a comment. We always look at our comments when they come in when we look yeah. at our YouTube stats. So yeah. just put a comment in one of our videos. We'll be sure to answer you. Lisa, my, my videos does have a weird sound. There's nothing wrong with your speakers. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's all on me. But... <laughs> uh, TGM, how you doing? Hey, TGM. Yeah, so I might buy the mother load, Wayne. What's so, buying now? Like I you said, just, mother load. just a little earlier in this stream, you said you were a flipper. And yep. so whenever I watch your videos, I expect your garage to have less and less equipment in it than what I see every time <laughs> you do a video. So I'm well, not too yeah. sure. Uh, I'm not too sure you're not a small engine repair hoarder and you fix it and you keep it. <laughs> My wife is clapping. <laughs> yeah. No, it just, it you know, yeah. But you remember when I did a video on that guy's place where I walked through and there was all kinds of stuff everywhere? Yeah. Well, I thought that was I might, your place. I, I might be buying that, uh, all of that. All oh, of that. I wasn't far around. Where the hell are you going to put it? Neighbor's house, he's got <laughs> like 22 acres. So, oh, wow, I think uh, we're talking about uh, doing it because the guy passed away and his wife doesn't know exactly what to do. So, yeah. oh, yes, yeah. that's right. That's where you oh, got. So, you're going to be able to grab it at a good price. That's that's the free uh, rider you got. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. The free rider that I got was uh, uh, over here by the water. Uh, oh. But um, yeah, uh, lady, I probably don't ever have to uh, look for another project again because there's a lot. Don't mind me, I'm checking my internet. All right. Hey, uh, our there. friend, our friend GTO YouTube had a question. I think what you're talking about is the Power More carburetors, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. The newer uh, Donny Boy did a video on that, where the newer Power yeah. More carburetors have, and some of the Chinesium ones, you can take out the brass inlet nipple, and there will be a slight screen behind there. Yeah, it's not on yeah. all the carburetors, but with but, what you're but, you're working on, but, the, go ahead. 
No, I'm, I'm just saying you don't need to take him out. No, no you don't just, have it, to. You just back, 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 back flush it from back the needle. Back flush it through the from needle, from where the seat is for the needle. Put in there, yeah. blow it yeah. through. Or it, once it goes in the ultrasonic cleaner, it'll clean it right out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But but yeah, Donnie Boy, look at Donnie Boy, the hidden filter. I think that's yeah. the name of his video yeah. and he, he shows. Yeah. But I believe it's a power more MTD oh. Chinese you mentioned. Some that's some that. yeah, some of the uh, yeah. really cheap aftermarket carburetors have them. And and there's no rule on whether they have them or don't have them. You can't tell. I've even had one with the filter where you could not take the inlet tube out. Mm. So Chris, I mean, this is a few questions. The, the rule book doesn't apply to these mm. aftermarket carburetors. Some yeah. do, some don't. Yeah. yeah. But you don't I, need to take them out. Mm -hmm. uh, no, they're work on a weed eater 550 edger. Um 550 we've never worked 550 on meaning the five a 550 engine or is that well, the model having, of it? He's having a bogging issue with the choke. Oh, okay. I thought he said bagging. Fogging. Uh, what's? Let me see if I can look that up. Hold on. Jokes uh, needs to be in half position. Yeah. Again, you know, he's he's not getting a, a good flow. Yeah. Idle jet plugged up or something. Yeah. Uh, no. Nah, well. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. No, are we talking a two-stroke here? No, I don't think so. Five fifty would be a small Briggs, wouldn't it? Usually, it's a Briggs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna look it up. Hold on. Uh, here we go. 550. Uh, no, two stroke. Yeah, two stroke. all ah. he's got to do is a quarter turn on, on the adjustment, and he's going to let more fuel in and it's going to stop bogging. Yeah, Hold uh, on. John Clem's got a good good one here. Check, check the spark arrestor. Yeah, it could be plugged. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No. I mean, that's it. when you're going to start on a unit, check those four or five items that are yep. typical, you know. Yep. You, Otherwise, you'll never get you know the answer. Are oh, you talking about a weed whipper? No, it's an edger. No, Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, same motor, right? Hold on. Oh come on, you stupid. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh wait, that's not our favorite Italian Tecumseh, is it? No, that is a weed eater. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But what what engines on that, Bruce? Oh. Electrolux motor. Yeah, but again, if it has an adjustment, the adjustments on the two-stroke, you know, if it's bogging, you know, give, give it a little fuel. Yeah, you know, that's what we always say. You know, adjust the the fuel. I think everybody on this you know. panel has a two-stroke engine bogged down muffler arrestor video. Yeah, spark <laughs> yeah. arresters that do it. Yeah, Definitely. and if you don't have the adjustment tools to for the high and the low, you can go on Amazon and they're cheap. Oh, yeah. nine yeah. bucks, you get like so, 10 to of be them. On, to yeah. be honest, I, I've, I've never had the arrest of screen, seen an, a plucked up arrest of screen. I cleaned them as part of service. Oh, no, I've I've never seen one. The only thing I've seen in terms of, of carbon buildup is the exhaust port on a on an echo trimmer. Mm. I've um, seen a lot of clogged ones on two things. Steel. On, on steel handheld blowers where it screws in. Yep. The little cartridge type one that's always clogged, <laughs> and on Echo backpacks, the older backpacks, the backpack let them idle all the time. Yeah. Those screens get clogged. The, the, or the, funny, the, the funny, exhaust port builds up with so much carbon. Mm -hmm. Pull the muffler to see if it's even clear. Because yeah. I've pulled off Echo mufflers before, and there's like a quarter inch hole where it's supposed to be a half by one inch. You know, <laughs> I was going to say that. The, yeah. the, the yeah. funny I've thing. I've also it, seen the funny field. thing. Trimmers Sorry. where the uh, flat mm. spark arrestor screen plugs up. Oh yeah, yep, mm. absolutely. No, That's someone's true. asking. No, no, we didn't. We didn't find the bolt yet. <laughs> I've seen them where the hornets have gone in and built the mud dauber nest. Oh yeah, the mud there. nest. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Mechanic did a video on that here a while back. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. It was on a. It might have been a steel or a husk. Hey, no swearing. Okay, I'm just telling you, no swearing. Anyway. <laughs> dilly dilly there you go i think our friend mr briggs wants to show us his new mower hey uh ve one uh has a part number here for that screw i think Good on. uh i think i looked that one up yeah yeah hold on hold on our friend scott is here to show us his new purchase uh oh where the heck is he no clickbait 
No, no, no. He's got a picture. Of him. <laughs> it's it's the right screw number. It it is. Is it? Is it? The, yeah, but it's the one right. I showed him. Hold on. I don't know. Scott, it's, I'm it's, trying to click you on, but you're frozen. I see a brand new mower there, but it looks frozen. Hold on. Must be a winter model. It was cheap. It's too far from the shop. Scott, you're locked up. Re Reboot, Scott. Try it again. <laughs> too far from the shop. Like decent mower. Uh, who looked up that number? Klaus? I did. I did. Yeah. Wow, it, it's like uh, it. it looks just like a, one of those in tank screws that holds it down. It's just longer. Six I nine one six eight seven. Works, but there you go, Mick. Flower pot. Now, does it have a Phillips head on it? Yes, sir. Oh, oh. it does. Huh? Wait, wait. The sixty-four well, well, thousand no, dollars question. It, it, the, the, the new one does have a Torx and straight uh, slotted. Uh, wait, hold okay. on. Because I'm hold on. The only <laughs> thing I want to know, though, hold on. Where am I? Hold All right. All right. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. That's now, fine, Ted. That's it. But the question I have, okay, because I'm Mr. Mo at all, where the hell did you <laughs> find it? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Seriously, where the hell did you find it? <laughs> you was curious because I looked up all the different things. What'd you type in? Yeah, because I could. Whatever VE one AXC is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know, you but uh, you better answer Kenny soon, otherwise. No, he's seriously, gonna be... no, I'm freaking out. I'm not going to go to bed until I find out where the hell he, he got it from. That's great. <laughs> Don't ask me. I just took a running lawnmower and made it run. Because VE1, I'm the guy that they call when they can't find something, and I couldn't find it. So no. Look at the fuel tank picture. Yeah, but where did you find the part number for that screw, though? Because I was looking up all the different uh, carburetor assemblies where it shows the carb in the fuel tank, and I didn't see anything. Did you look up the actual tank part number, or the IPL for the tank, and it shows that number? Because I couldn't find it. Be interesting to know. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> definitely. I'm wondering, I did one of those carbies on what Hank and I worked on. Remember the one where we fuel screwed tank, up? Or fuel, I screwed tank, up I, fuel tank schematic. Yeah, the field. Okay, all right, cool. Let's Let me see. look that up. Hold on. Good one. Do you have the part number for the fuel tank? VE1. Actually, VE1, what's your name? So we can call you by name. What's your actual name? We go by first names here. You know, like idiot and jerk, things like that. <laughs> John. Those John. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Grass mat. Uh, <laughs> let's see. All right. Uh, who did we lose? We lost some weight. All right, hold on, Scott. Let's see if he's in there. All right, there you are. What do you got, Scott? What'd you buy? Oh, you got, oh, you got a zero turn. Okay, Pete. Pete, you you're, you're, Pete, you're the man. Really, man. brand new, a brand new, a brand spanking new 2024 Toro Time Master. I thought you had a, a John Deere. That a time oh, Master. that's a that's a Kohler on it. Was that seven thousand? Nope, oh, he locked up again. Yeah, should have got one with a Kawasaki on it. <laughs> yeah. No, but I think you got a good deal on it, to be honest. Well, the seven thousands aren't bad. Yeah, That's when not, they corrected not all Audi. the courage issues. Is that right? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, the seven thousand series is like a courage that is correct now and nice. Toro time cutter, it looks like. Yeah. yeah. What size deck? Is that a stamped deck, Scott? It looks like a rounded stamped deck versus the welded construction. Oh, oh what do you say, Ken? It's like a courage? It, it's what succeeded the Courage engine. They took all the issues they had with the Courage and uh, with the bolts and all made that. Mr. Mulligan, uh, I think that, that's a question here for you that you, only yeah. you can answer. Mick, this guy did. We were trying to figure out what, what his or her first name is so that we can uh, ask. There we could say who it is. So Tar Heels got a question. Uh, Kenny. Hold, on. hold on. Let me get. <laughs> and GM Actit got one hold too. Hold on one second. Hold on, let me let me get rid of my solo. Yeah, Tar Heel's got a good question, actually. What's William got? What are some of the main obstacles? What are some of the main obstacles you might go through? Making money. Money, yeah, money. 
I don't know. I do it as a hobby. I do it for coffee money. I do it as a stress reliever. So instead of paying a shrink 300 bucks an hour, I go down and grab wrenches and have fun. That, that's what right. I Right. Or, or, or you can get stressed out at the lawnmower, not exactly. everything else. Yeah, right. Hey, so. You can get stressed out at an inanimate object. We do. Yeah, that, the, yeah. the biggest that's, obstacle. That's a lot easier sometimes. Biggest uh, obstacle is finding a place that you can do that work out of if you want to open up a legitimate shop. Like yeah. that's your your yeah. big obstacle. Yeah. But you know, our, nowadays friends, you're talking you're talking a million dollars to find a building to operate yeah. out of if you yeah. want to buy one. Hey Wayne, but what about our friends from England, man? Those guys got a 64 square foot shack and they're in there working away. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Like we're working out of a car and a half garage. Yeah, or four. And um, Kenny, did you see Jim exit this question? Uh, let's see. What is it? Yeah, it's right there. That's 31 R. Usually when you have the differences in those, it's usually like the crankshaft snout, the, the length of it, the, the keyway, things like that. Sometimes it's the muffler. It, it's all depending on what it's off of, you know, that's, that's where you have the, the type differences. Because that's you know the model type and code, yeah. Um, yeah it's the same basic engine, a thirty-one series engine, yeah. but the middle and the end, the end just designates how many revisions to that type of engine. So with G, they've revised it you know eight times, but the O O twenty two versus the triple O seven, it could be a muffler, it could be the crankshaft, it could be the 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 air cleaner, the way it's size of the tank, yeah, size yeah, of the tank, yeah, it could be anything. You need uh, a cross, we you say need, yeah, we call that a list number, and you need a cross reference for the yeah. list. Yeah, always, always look if you're replacing one, the model type and code of what you what have on there now, at? so you can see what it. Is. <laughs> That's uh, funny, man. Did, did, did our, did our friend thing. ever say what his or her name is, so we can call Pete. him or her by name? Pete. Pete. This uh, VE. Pete. Oh, Pete. Pete. Okay, I'm sorry. Pete. Okay. Pete. Oh yeah, there it is, Pete. Yeah, good to know you. As in Pete. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Pete the pup. Right. So dry. If there was one hey, Pete, thing, Pete, just for do you have a channel, Pete, by chance? Any kind of channel or something that we can look you up or anything like that? Or are you just uh, don't let don't like, let them in. Pete. Don't let out. them in. Don't <laughs> let them in. Don't. Hey, 50, fifty-seven <laughs> in the house. Please hit the like. Yeah. Please hit yeah. the, it hit it the like. Well. Hit the like, baby. There we go. And uh, Tar Heel, if there was one thing I was gonna would do different, it would have been to uh, register with a bunch of suppliers mm, earlier so that we be, had better discount on getting our parts. I was but just gonna say, to get get parts, parts, yeah. Parts, yeah, in Canada you need to have uh, a registered HST number. Yeah, in the states, I would think it's. Uh, what do you have? An LS. Wait, wait, Wayne, number? Wayne, don't tell me about HST numbers and Canadian shipments. Oh, terrible. Okay. <laughs> I'm serious. Those those who have talked to me over the last three weeks know what I'm talking about. I'll have a private discussion with you about HT, HST numbers, but yeah. anyway, crazy. No profanity allowed. Oh, my gosh. Anyway. Yeah, but Pete, is that your channel name? If that's your name, we can look you up. And yeah. you know you have one video, at least we can subscribe to yeah, you. Yeah, that's typically channel name if you sign in through YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Kenny, you must remember when I wanted that spring. That five dollars. Hold on, I got some spring. business to take care of. Okay. Go ahead. No. <laughs> um, Gotta let the cat out. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. That's okay. All right, we surpassed an hour with tech, so that's good. We at least had some good tech. I wonder where Briggs went. I, I want to see that mower. I'm surprised he had a John Deere he bought a while ago, and I thought it was pretty cool. And now he ends up buying a new one. So interesting. Uh, let's see. And right. sharing any chips. <laughs> so, so are we actually Never starting? Does. Are we starting the banter? Are we starting the banter section now? Or are we still talking? Banter. Banter? We, we can <laughs> banter section. Uh, uh oh, who's in the basement? Someone just clicked. There he is. I don't know. If you, I don't see anything, Scott. <laughs> I, I, have, I have like a question about a. Uh, I have a question about a scooter, but it's a Chinese scooter, 150 cc something. 150. Like Wow. Yeah, okay. street rod. It's called a street rod down here. Really? But the guy said it was bogging down, but everything looked good, and the fuel filter was okay. 
it's it's a Mexican uh, thing. Yeah. Car. Car. No, it looks to well, me like when they're all they're all based on the Min uh, Minarelli engine, which is a Honda clone. So yeah, um, do they have a fuel pump rain, on them? Rain wasn't. No, they're gravity. No, no, they're all gravity. They they're operating gravity. with you guys. They, they, they are yeah. gravity, Bruce. They are gravity, but yeah. some of them have this function that you have to have suction on the line for it yeah. to deliver fuel. I was just going to say, yeah. 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 Well, is, it like a, wanna... is it like a fuel pump on a generator? On a generator? No, like a... no, 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 it's, no. A, it's a vacuum operated fuel tap. Oh, yeah, like on a Harley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the vacuum has... operated Petcock. Yeah. Could it that normally... be bad? I'll, I'll yes. tell you how to fix oh, it yes. if you let me talk. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead, Stella. You, he wants to check the couple of things you want to check. You don't have to make me big. That's all right. You we want like to check a couple of things is the intake manifold, if that has a crack in it or whatnot, because yep. how the fuel tap operates is there's a vacuum tube that's just past the carburetor between the carburetor and, and the, the head. Okay. Yep. And what happens is as you crank it over, the vacuum opens up. Okay. And then it lets fuel flow in. So if there's a crack either in the vacuum line, a cracked or old intake manifold boot, because there are rubber, you know, that might be just a place where it's bogging down at that point. And bogging down can be oftentimes misunderstood to be either running rich or running lean. Yes, and in a situation yeah. like a little four stroke, four stroke scooter, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. Can I, uh, I mentioned to him to pull the spark plug to see if it was black or gray. Yep, that's if, a good if idea. The, if the yep. uh, uh, fuel filter was plugged, it could be a gray plug. And if, yep. And uh, also, I was going to get him to dis disconnect the fuel feed into that, what I call fuel pump, but it's a switch. Right. And just run that into the carburetor and feed it by gravity to the carburetor. No, the, it's, it's going to be a vacuum-operated fuel tap. The best thing he can do oh my Lord, is I'm take off that line and suck mm -hmm. on it. And see if fuel comes. He has, he has to. Uh, no, no, no. You're sucking in air. All you're doing is opening a diaphragm. Right. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then he and said then he got a he got a cup full of gas line, out of that. If you disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor and the vacuum line, suck on the vacuum line, it should just spew fuel like crazy. So that's the other way to test that out. Yep. Hank, is that your power products that you just had up Thank there? You, yes. Stella. No, that's, uh, hey, you know that's Pete's right. one video. I want to say one oh, that's that's video. Oh, cool. slide too. Yeah. Hey, Mick Hardy, we're getting back to the GX25 again from the last two or three weeks. Um, Pete's wondering how he cleans out that PCV hose. I think it just comes off of the valve cover and off the air cleaner. Am I right, guys? Yep. The rubber yep. hose? Yep. Yeah. It should just, yeah, pull it off of the valve cover and off of the uh, thing. That's, that's all yeah. I would do. But uh, hopefully, that's, that's all. yeah, Tom isn't here. I wish he was here. He's going to, I'm going to talk to him later on. To well, Actually, now in Australia, it's 4, 420 in the morning there. So I'm sure he's sleeping. Yeah, but hopefully I'll talk, he's asleep. Yeah, we'll talk to him in the morning. <laughs> but I'll ask him, did he ever take out that GX25? He was going to run it at all different attitudes to see if it smoked in any given one. Mick has it on a Mantis tiller. So basically it's it's in the same orientation. Mm -hmm. But I've seen those tillers in the back of cars and trucks on their sides like this, like that. So who knows where the little amount of oil that's in there, where it's gone. Has it gone into the valve cover? How many, how many of us put the mower in the front, it's tilted, the valve cover fills up and it smokes like a freight train for 10 minutes, you know? Or yeah. doesn't even start, no. you know? We've thanks. seen that. Anyway, thanks, Tom. You know? Hey, Bruce, the slide adjustment too, you got to watch out for that. So if it's giving itself too much air... And when you're holding the throttle open, if it's oh. going, you know, it has to be right oh. on that on that Mix. slide. Yeah, you can adjust that, right? Yeah, you can adjust. Well, that. that's yeah. that's that's basically your idle adjustment. It's literally just lifts up the slide. It's a screw yeah. that goes in, yep. Yep. and well, it's more like this: screw goes mm -hmm. in, and as it raises up the slide. But that's really going to be more of a, an effect of starting it. You know, it's like opening up wide open and trying to start yeah. it. You're going to have trouble getting it to start like that because it's getting too much air at that point. That's probably why he's calling it a bog because, you know, he's trying to hold it wide open. And it's, yeah, could and, be. And they like a lot of back pressure too, right, Stella? No, on the two strokes they do, not on the four yeah. strokes. Yeah. Okay. 
anyway, I'm just trying, trying to help a guy on Facebook in a different area of town. I can't get to him. Right. Okay, thank you. But, you know, those are some things he can check, you know, the fuel lines, the intake manifold, the yeah. vacuum lines, you sure. know, all these sorts of things to make sure, you know, all that's and, intact. And the he's, not a mechanic, he's not mechanically minded, but he had a hemostat. Can you believe that? <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Oh, time but, for me. Oh, that's uh, right. Here we go. St. Patty's uh, Day. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I was meant <laughs> um, A question, though, Scott, while you're there, though. Why did you buy a new Toro mower? Because I wanted American engineering. There you go. Uh oh. No, but didn't you have that big um, deer that you had last year? You bought a big deer or something? Uh, someone offered me four grand for it, so I took it. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But um, no, I can. I know the difference in decks. I did not buy a, a, a stamp deck. I bought a 42 inch fabricated deck with a 22 horsepower Kohler. There you go. And that that's um, it's a 7,000 series, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 7,000. 7, I got it's yeah, seven. It, it's model seven four seven four seven. Mm. And I and I stole it. I bought it at a dealer that was retiring. Mm. How much do you think I paid for it? Those go uh, for about 3,800, I think. Thirty-eight hundred bucks. I think. Now take a take a wild guess. How much you think I paid? Two grand. Twenty-five hundred. I don't care. I don't care. Eight hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. Delivered. Wow, good deal. Nice. Delivered. It'll cool down sooner or later. I'd, I'd buy one with a Kohler engine for that price. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, hey, I, hey, hey, you, hey, you hey, I look at it this way. It's still got a three-year warranty. If that thing burned up a week after the warranty was out, I could buy a brand new Kawasaki yeah. and still be cheaper in a, another one. No, it's yeah, a nice machine for that price. Crankcase extra. Now that particular seven thousand. Yeah, but that actually a Kohler Kohler or is that a Chinese Kohler? It's another pipe that actually. No, it, uh, it says it's American made. Yeah, that one there, I believe, made with global components. You, yeah, you have components made overseas. <laughs> it's assembled in America. That one. Global components. Uh, right? Hardy. Oh, Mick, I think you're uh, Hank. You could back me up on this one. I think he's talking about the transfer pipe that brings it back down the oil back down. Into That's that all internal. Chamber. Yeah, yeah, the one that goes up to the crankcase. I don't know if you have to really worry about that one. To be, I think that's no. more of a that's more of a drain hose. I believe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's the one that goes to your air cleaner that would cause the smoking. The one from the cover to the air right. cleaner. The air cleaner would be sucking in the pulses to suck oil into the chamber to be burnt. I don't think you have to worry about that other one, Mick. To be honest, no. uh, what is Dennis saying here? Briggs twelve, twelve horse twin. Yeah, they made a 12 horse supposed twin. Did they make a 12 horse? Yeah, transmission used, fluid works good. I thought it started as Dennis, 14. I have used kerosene, better known as paraffin, uh, across the pond. Um, <laughs> diesel, I, fuel, diesel fuel. Diesel works. fuel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the old tranny fuel. fluid and acetone, right? Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah, else works? works? Great paint yeah. thinner. You could put paint thinner in, let it soak. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, uh, yeah, I say if you don't want to take the heads off. Um, if you take the heads off, I mean, then you can put anything in there, really. But yeah, I just you don't think take the heads off. The acetone in the ATF, a lot of people use that. That's I've even I used mean. Marvel Mystery Oil, too. I've had that sitting there. Yeah, vinegar. Marvel Mystery Oil. Yeah, yeah vinegar. I, I yeah, but I, I think, but by using like Mystery Oil and stuff like that, you don't have to care if it mixes with the oil. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. right. And we, we just, can't get the Mystery Oil over here. No? Just put, nope. just put sea foam in it. It's basically sea kerosene. Too, just yeah, put sea, sea foam. foam. The seafoam deep creep, they call it, in a can. That real I use deep well creep. Yeah. 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 But you want to be careful and go very easy after it's soaked when you're moving that piston. Mm. You're going to want to go backwards first, back yeah. up. If you find resistance, don't push it because you're going to snap the rings. Yeah, snap yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah because oh, like you got a, like you got a ring of rust built up right in that cylinder that's stopping that piston yeah. from moving. Yeah. Yeah, we said yeah, that's, a, that's a return hose. Don't worry about that one. That's just a return. If the, if the rain, you know, you know, there's an old trick in our one. Believe it or not, fluid uh, film will loosen up rings. Uh, Mix fluid film pipe. with some, with some huh? uh, kerosene. That 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 sure. fluid film and kerosene okay. will mix together. Will definitely loosen up some rings. Mick, too bad you couldn't throw us a video on that so we could see exactly mm -hmm. what you're talking about. 
because that should just be yeah it's under pressure it's absolutely under pressure because the whole system's pressurized it's using the yeah, downstroke but, of the piston to yeah. create pressure in there to force oil up into the valve chamber and down because yeah. we had had the question last week where hank's like how the hell's it get to, to the rocker arm and stuff it pushes it up and out and down so yeah it's there's almost, pressure it's on it. almost a two-stroke yeah. action but, in the crankcase yeah. but make make if, if you make hardy if, if you've seen the stream from last saturday you gotta go if you haven't seen it go see it second if you got over pressure from your crank you have another issue you either Shut have up, a blow by, blow by or 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 a scored uh, broken ring or a scored cylinder or something that's creating an overpressure in the crank that overpressure has to go somewhere and one mm -hmm. of the places it'll go is in that pipe yeah what would you so so, wow. so you know if if you if you've done a compression test on the oh. engine you, you should have a good idea on on where you are um and and it's 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 the whole nine yards if you've got a scored cylinder yeah well wow. wow, it's man. like the riding lawnmower we got in that was smoking when jake took the overhead valve cover off the previous <laughs> shop didn't take a rag out and returned <laughs> for the oil was stopping all the return oil Sorry, going back into life. the crankcase. Yeah. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Greasy Shop Rag, another good channel. What, Maggie? You hey, Bruce, that, uh, that battery turned around. Stuff, man. You guys find the wildest stuff. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, that battery turned around that you told me to try. Don't give up on Bruce. It did come around? Yeah. Isn't that something, hey? From 09, yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. I had it on there for a couple of days. You just gotta and, go slow, man. Just go yeah. slow. Yeah. What'd you do? Desulfate it? No, I just charged it up. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Stella. So far, so oh, good. Hurt to cycle it a few times. Uh, yeah, I let it die one day, um, and then I did it again, and it's holding like at like eleven sixty right now. I still have mm -hmm. it out there, but I mean eleven sixty. You know, it's gonna come around. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Do you have access to the caps or is it sealed? No, no, it's not sealed. No, no. Nice. Yeah, but I think that's the way it's designed, Mick. When it's running, the whole thing is pressurized. I don't think you can open it while it's running. It's designed no. to Thanks, be pressurized, yeah. and yeah. that's how it forces oil to get all over the place. Yeah, you do. And, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that, that rubber, sorry, Hank, that rubber hose that, that Mick is talking about, it's also a rubber hose. It clamped on. It's yeah. the return It's the return. Hose. I can let the cat out. Again, if you got overpressure in that make, you have an underlying issue you haven't identified yet. You gotta find yeah. that first. Crankcase pressure, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. one fifty nine C what's a one fifty nine? Is that uh that's five horse, right? That's a five horse. Four. Five horse, yeah. One fifty nine power more MTD. It, yeah, it's usually five horsepower that size. Two twelve is a six and a half. I think the one fifty nine is a five. It could be a four and a half. Or four point seven yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, because because yeah. depending on when it was built, that was the whole horse manure that went around with. That's why yeah, they all cord, say cord six point seven five. You know, yeah, gross or whatever. Yeah, yeah, gross you know that lawnmower they made last year with the horizontal shaft. Oh, that weird one. Floor. Yeah, I've, I haven't yep. seen any of those lately. He's got one at that dealership for he and he's bringing it down. I for he said I'll I'll let you have that for twenty five bucks for twenty five oh, bucks. I, I'd buy it just to take it apart. Yeah, uh, that I bought. I he said twenty five bucks. He's got to bring me a couple attachments. He's got to bring me the bagger, the bagger, the remulcher kit, and they, the, I'm gonna get the jack for it so I don't have to go around hunting for a jack. That seems and like so much overkill in that engine. You know? I, I I got I told him I wanted just to see like you said just to see what that what's about for twenty five oh, yeah. bucks that sure. that's gonna be what that's funny conquer yeah <laughs> uh Jeff you you're awake <laughs> anywho uh let's see LPG what is it saying LPGs I don't know they, they sell liquid pro propane mowers some do yes. Yes, they do. Well, Leaf. Years ago, it's they used to Leaf. have one with a screw on cans. I remember those. They have one. It's called Leaf, I believe it is. Leaf. It, yeah. L, it, they it, they sell a full line of uh, propane power equipment. I don't know about riders, but they sell push mowers, weed whackers, and leaf blowers, all propane. A propane? <laughs> yes. And and before, and Mr. Clough, before you add, no, I am not converting that new Toro to propane. 
<laughs> well, I've been take hearing about years. that for a long time. On, on your track record, Scott, it'll take 10 years before you get No, there. no, the push mower's already <laughs> been converted. I just haven't done a video. I already converted it. Oh, if, oh, in a couple good. weeks, I'll go, when it's warmed up, I will personally go out there and show it to you. And, 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 and uh, one of you guys, I don't know which one you won't admit it, but one of you guys sent me a box of air filters because they got that. I think I, I sh they, they didn't like the air filter in my push mower, but thank you. <laughs> For what, Tecumseh? Something that quantum lawnmower I have oh, with that uh, bad, air, dirty air filter. Someone sent me a 10 pack and then in a little. How'd they get your address? I have no idea, but someone sent me a, a 10 pack and it said, change that dirty air filter, please. Yeah, that was a smart person. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know who sent it, but uh, That's right. um, I thought it was hilarious. I told whoever, you I was going to send one, but it wasn't me. But I, but I, uh, I did change the air filter, and Good and and, they, and I and whoever and uh, the return, and I, I I didn't have the it didn't have a return address, or I'd send because I uh, I'd send them the old air filter, whoever it was, and say, so they could send it to Briggs and have it tested to wonder why the engine still runs. Phil, come on up so we can see your T-shirt. Hey, Ken, did you send me that uh, the Secret Santa or did Hanley? Um, hold on. Let me – where the hell's the list? Hold on. I got the list here. Hold on. Yeah, I haven't it, seen too I, many videos on Secret Santa. Why, uh, yeah. Steve. Yeah, I did a video on it, and it, hold on. I think he didn't know what I was talking about. Or yeah, something. hold on. Let me see what I got here. I got the list here somewhere. Hold on. Because it said – both I didn't do a video. I yeah, didn't All right, hold on. Who had you? Uh, let me see. Let me oh, see. Steve said, "Small engine saloon." You're welcome, Scott. <laughs> Lewis, it's supposed to be a secret. Well, and then <laughs> yeah, Tom Haney had you. Tom Haney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, because yeah. I I said thank you on a short. Oh, okay. And but. It, I don't think he got it or something. Yeah. I don't know. No, but, I'm a little perturbed because I did all the nice secret sand stuff for everybody. And I, what did I see? One video, maybe? Yeah, no, no I did. I did well, a video. Video. No, I haven't got mine yet. Bruce won't be able to do <laughs> his until wait, wait, he gets wait. home. Who hasn't gotten it? Who hasn't gotten it? <laughs> Bruce, Bruce hasn't been in until he gets home. Yeah. No, 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 Bruce, your guys wait until you get back. You're yeah. Just, they told okay, me in Mexico. Looks yeah. like Hank's one deer shirt. Yeah. They, you know, they, they, they got caught at the border. Uh, you know how much shipping costs to Mexico, Bruce? Woo! Yeah, no. <laughs> you might get hijacked. Well, that's true too. Mick did do it. You're right, Mick. You're right. But I'm saying, out of like 14 of them, how many videos were there? There weren't that many. Yeah. Well, I did. I did a community post and tagged the lawnmower detective, so it came up on his channel, and you know. That ain't yeah. a video, my friend. No, I know. We need a YouTube video, Sella. <laughs> That's does, a, does shorts count? Uh, no, Vic, that was a rule. Uh, let me see. Hold on. What did What did you get, Conk? What did Conker get? What did you give him, Klaus? Uh, a big thing of uh, alkaline fuel. Oh, that's right. You gave him the expensive. <laughs> so I thought it would have been a C clip, oh. a C clip installer. Mm. <laughs> or a C clip retainer. Yeah, look, uh, wait, retainer. wait, Phil. I hope you're not putting it in an oil uh, thing on a chainsaw. Uh, uh, no, uh, Conker got the uh, the one without oil. You have to add oil. You can mix it. it. Yeah, there we go, Phil. Yeah, there yeah. we go. Uh oh, he just got three wrecked chainsaws. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bruce, are you gonna do any more with that that other home light? Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a four foot blade on it, Ooh, bar, yeah, and a new chain, of course. Yeah, but four foot, you better get your checkbook out. Oh, it's gonna be over two hundred dollars. Oh, easy, easy. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I'm, it's got four hundred four chain links on it. Yep, yep. Okay. Good Probably size. full skip, yeah. Full, full chisel, skip. yeah, full chisel. And uh, I have to put a new clutch on it because the uh, the chain was spinning at idle. <laughs> a four foot bar. How you gonna lift that thing? Oh, the oh, saw itself was it forty for, pounds. This is not for Scott. It's not for use. It's just I'm yeah, gonna go no cut one chunk of firewood with it and then hang it up yeah. from the ceiling. Yep. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think you'd want to drop that on your foot. You wouldn't. Well, just imagine yeah. what the old loggers were built like, lifting stuff like that, right? Yeah, men, men were. I wouldn't. I, yeah. yeah, you'd call them sir. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's like those guys back uh, in the day the that used to take those C91 home lights. <laughs> <up. laughs> 
But you know what? That thing is a hundred. Right. I still can't believe that. It's a hundred cc's. Wait, it's a hundred cc's with. I know. Co Cocker says he doesn't have anything to offer. <laughs> Phil, just remember, like we say, hire the elderly. They're fun to watch. That's why we want you. You know here. what? Stella, that I still can't believe that thing hasn't got a compression release. Mm. Yeah. Hundred cc. How old is it? Nineteen sixty-five. Yeah. yeah. That's what was the model, model with that saw, Bruce? Bruce? Pardon me. What was the model of that saw? Humalite. Yeah, the home light. I know it's right? home light. But was it that <coughs> oh, XP ten twenty. You, you remember that old uh, saw that Terrell did a video on a couple years ago? That antique one. Mm -hmm. That Clinton. Yep, I got one just like that. Only it says Bobcat on it. I'm sure I had on, I showed it to Ken one time. It's the stinks <coughs> huge. Yeah, the old big saws are Oh, look who's in the basement. Hey, hey. Oh, now he's up. It's the real John oh, Clan. The real. Hello. The, real. the one and only. Hey who's Stella, the, who, where's uh Carmen? Who's got a who's got that sound in the background? It's running around somewhere. That's a beeping. Sound. Well, there's no beeping. There's a hum in my back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. My furnace kicked on. It's like a. Go on. Is it me? Not, no, it's not Brett. It's still here. I'll go mute. Nope, it's not you, Bruce. How about me? It... Not me. What? Are, what are you? What are you hearing? I'm. I'm hearing a a constant tone. A hum. Um, yeah. That's something the hum. Like... That's the famous um, hum they've never heard. They've never been able not, to find it, where it's, it's coming not you, from. Brock. It's not you, Brock. I don't know. I don't hear it, Klaus. Mic feedback, Stella. Well, the um, pump on my furnace stop? is running, and it's making a purring. But, but, but no, you were muted before, Brett. It's not you. Did it just uh, stop? Uh, can you try and mute yourself? Hold on. No, it's not you, Stella. Not you, Wayne. Don't ask me to mute. I don't. I'm lucky. I'm on here. Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, He's it's muted. not you either. Jeez. Us old guys have to stick together. Yeah. <laughs> Hank. I don't mean stick together. I mean stick nope. together. Not Hank. No. Could, hey, Are you hear any? Klaus, is it you? It, it could be. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna mute. I'm gonna <laughs> no, mute you, I Klaus. Yeah, mute I don't me. hear anything here. I don't hear anything. Yeah. Uh, could be just, it could be my earphones. You never know. No, I can hear it. What? <laughs> it was conquer. It's Conker. It conquer. <laughs> huh? That is weird. Conker's humming in text form. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't me because I was muted all this time. Yeah, yeah, it's not you. No, no that's weird. Hey, Sometimes I know I get feedback from my headphones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although somebody got a new keyboard, maybe the keyboard. <clears throat> Hold on. No, that's not it. Hmm. What does it <laughs> will a stuck ring make a Vanguard hunt? It won't run if it's got a. Stuck well, ring. you got. I think you answered your own question. It's called Nikki. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nikki. Uh, that, Nikki uh, your problem is uh, is be, before the ring. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, that Nikki carb. If it's not, did you ultrasonically clean it and make sure everything was dead nuts and everything was replaced? Because that dog Nikki's, won't hunt. They're no. I like that one. Yeah. Oh, Make yeah. sure you that O ring, that little O ring. Is yeah, up. that real tiny one. And it's not. Um, yeah. you, can't, you can't use a crummy replacement. It has to be the actual yeah. squared edge O ring yeah. on that. Yeah. 80, 80. 72 inch bar. Holy crap. That's, a big that's kind of you know, big. Usually that's those your, bears are using like sawmills. All right there. Well, I'm a, so do you think I should put a 36 bar on there instead of well, a Well, 36 if you're going to use it. John, I mean, if it's just for show. 36 is a big bar. Yeah. Well, it yeah. depends on how big in diameter the log is. <laughs> it, it depends on how big your shelf is. I mean, I, I would go to four foot if you want to be, uh, make a, uh, your own version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, yeah. do they still yeah. grow 36 inches? I can logs? guarantee you that it's only going to be used uh, in one video. <laughs> Lane, we're not saying it's not a okay. decent carb. I mean, if you clean it, it correctly, rebuild really. it correctly, it'll be a it, decent carb. It's it, just that it a lot was, of people don't know how to clean them properly and rebuild yeah. them. Yeah. Can you mute Klaus, please? He's trying to start some shit. <laughs> it was John was making sound. His earphones were screwed up. Well, I, had a, I didn't realize I had them all. It, 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 oh, was it, John? 
<laughs> it was that Mississippi no background noise. <laughs> yeah, we could solve that. No <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of equipment in here for repairs uh, with the Nikki carbs on them. And when we take the carb off, you can tell the customer's been in there because the main jet isn't even in that plastic tower. Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, how many they had it apart. They set it down someplace. The jet pops out. out. It's yeah. only held in with an O-ring. Yeah. 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 Well, you're right. That little O-ring is almost always the culprit. Yeah. yeah. And you call them up and say, did you... Were you in there? Did anybody work on this? No, no, no it's all oh, original. No. So yeah, it was running before. Them, oh, did, yeah, it was running. You ask them, did you clean the jet? They're like, what jet? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So nothing I've yeah. said since I came on has even come across. Exactly. Did you, you say something? Out. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You're bad. Oh, I was wondering why Brock was ignoring me when I asked him what he was thing. drinking. Yeah. Hey, oh, what's guys, that? Oh, hold on one second. Hey, seriously, I got one a quick That's comment a to make. Seriously, uh, our friend uh, Thomas Andrew lost his mom the other day, so I just want to say condolences to uh, Thomas. Sorry. He's a good friend of the sorry. channel, and I just want to give condol public condolences yeah, sorry, to Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Thomas. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, yeah Thomas has sorry. been a good friend of the channel, so condolences. Ian, mind if I say a prayer out loud since we're together as a group for that? For him? Can we, yeah, but can yeah. we do that without getting? No, I, I, I don't think this is totally allowed. Oh. You, YouTube won't allow that. I don't know. Sometimes they, if it's religious, they screw you. Uh, I think there's a lot. Right you know, you know, no, Brett. You know, Brett. I will send you Thomas's email. You can send him something. How's that? Hey, well, it might be yeah. nice to hear. Canada's coming out with the new uh, hate law that says that online, in the event that somebody feels that you may say something hateful. It could be presented to a judge, and you could go through all kinds of stuff and be shackled and have to wear a bracelet. Oh, yeah, hate crimes? Forget yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's the new have, law have, they're trying to have, pass. Have, no more have, bad words about Tecumseh. Have, yeah, have, fun, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. Talk about have, have hey. fun about making that stick over here. <laughs> yeah, Tecumseh. Hey, to come, when it comes to snowblower engines, Tecumseh is the king. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, you're more right more engines, uh, I, I might, I might have to win. Yeah. But you can't beat it. Tecumseh snow king. Yeah. No. But, hey, there Lane, you know. on this, getting back to this, Nikki with Lane here. Yeah. Did you actually just clean it? Did you do a full rebuild? Did you actually have a rebuild kit? The problem that I see with a lot of Nikki's, the OEM rebuild kits are thirty to fifty dollars. They're not cheap. Yeah. So a yeah. lot of people. Yeah. You can replace it. Yes, yeah, you can replace it with a Walbro clone. Yeah, like yeah, an LMT. Yeah. 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 And they they, they yeah. work pretty well. They look really up do. look up the model of the engine and look up different types. All right. Who the different a, center numbers. Sometimes they'll call out different carburetors that'll swap right out. Yeah, yeah. It, did it normally shows on the parts course. diagram the two carbs. Yeah, two it'll options. Show the, usually yeah, it'll, show, it'll show the Nikki carb yeah. and the Walbro carb and give yeah. you the number you can. Yeah, Lane, use. if you have the model type and code off of the Listen to cover. Obi Wan Kenobi. We can look it up for you if you'd like. <laughs> it should be. I, I've never, cover. I've Obi never swapped Wan out a Nikki for a Walbro. I've just left the <laughs> Nikki's on, cleaned yeah. them, put new gaskets in, Dark but we Dark always Dark throw Dark. a shut off valve in there. In hey, Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Stephanie. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> but what is Lane, this? Full, What's full, full, full rebuild Stephanie. with an OEM kit or full rebuild with yeah. using the same <laughs> parts Excuse me. cleaned up? What's, what? a, what's the best aftermarket yeah, carburetor for a small engine? <laughs> I, 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 I just responded that there's a lot of hit and miss out there. Some of them, you know, you never know. Yeah. 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 It's like Hester 781. He said he's what? One for 10 on fuel shutoff valves that he buys from uh, Amazon. Oh, yeah. Nine yeah. leaks. Wow. One's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'll only buy it's like okay. Leaks leaks six months yeah. later. I will say that when I've used aftermarket carbs, and for the most part, I've had pretty good luck with HIPAA. But that doesn't to say that they got that HIPAA's got something for everything. Yeah. You got to go. No, the, only, the only Mr. problem Hank I've had, the like only HIPAA. problem I've had with HIPAA, and in fact, I have a kit now they sent me for free that I got to try out on an Echo. The only issue I have sometimes with the HIPAA and with some of those Chinese two-stroke carburetors is that they're not rich enough meaning they're yep. either not drilled correctly or the needle's yeah. not right where it's you're looking for more fuel and you just don't have it you know i put the oem jets inside the nothing's rich enough anymore aftermarket carbs 
Yeah, Actually, or the other way around. I've had it where I turn the screw all the way in so it almost shuts it off and it still doesn't run right. Well, you look, at, you look at Henry at uh, mowers and blowers. He, he just put a hip on and he found out that the choke didn't have a return spring on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I knew. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah. yeah. So he's saying, ah, oh, well, this thing's running like crap. Yeah. <laughs> and then he realizes, oh, there's no spring on the choke plate. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that uh, Mick, the Bravely Man at? had the same problem. Where are you yeah. actually looking at, Mick? And that little choke really spring's, spring's hard to put on. Did something yeah. He put a yeah. clone car, car bond that was running lean, and he put the OEM jet in that clone, and it worked. Now, nah. some yeah. jet radio he was working on. The one thing I found on the Nikki carbs, if you're not using the OEM carb kit when you rebuild it, you're going to have leaking issues. Mm -hmm. Yep. Tommy the aftermarket sticks. kits. Tommy time, stay away, stay away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that square, that square section O-ring, that's the one that no, no one ever replaces. Or they try and replace it with a round O-ring, it's not yep. the same. Mm -hmm. Because that. the O-ring seals on the face, not on the side. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. It fills it's out the whole. that little groove. Yeah. yeah. All right, I got to do bio break. I'll be back. Fortunate for me, whenever I've seen a HIPAA, it's been to the point where I'm like, just change it. I won't but, uh, fool with those. I won't fool with those Nickies. Oh, Nickies! I mean, are it's, it's, it's taken me 15 years to get a 50 percent success rate dealing with Nickies. <laughs> yeah, a little story wow. about HIPAA. No, but I mean, no, that's that's good. Good. I like that. Yeah. They sent me a HIPAA carburetor, and I used it, and it was all right. Just had an adjustment and all that. And then the next HIPAA carburetor, I paid for it. When I got it, the hole was off center. Yeah, I remember yeah, that video. I remember that, Hank. Huh? The so, Chinese have off days, too. Calm down. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I think they, you know, sent me something that was a perfect carburetor. Off day. And then when you buy them, it's just junk. <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, I mean, it's they sent me two of them. I put one on the thing, never uh, idled right. I took that one off. I put the other one on that they sent me. It was okay. The guy came and got the snow blower. He came back about a month later. He said, This thing won't start. I just ripped that thing right off of there and, and put another carburetor on there and yeah. never seen yeah. him again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's goes to my point of they're all hit and miss, you know. Yeah, yep. yeah they are. It's, yeah, but it's I mean, what do you expect? Shoot. What do you expect? That ten percent of the OEM cost. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so so in all honesty, you get what you pay for. You really do. Yep. Yeah, yeah. They're just I, junk, Tar. They're just junk. I made a, a comment earlier well, that well, Honda well, OEM are very affordable, so don't be shy to buy a Honda yeah. OEM carburetor. Yeah. yeah, in Canada and North America. I just yeah, like well, I've never, I've never traveled to Denmark and bought one, so I wouldn't know. Well, you can't afford it. So, and that's why we've got so many spare carburetors that we've taken off of blown engines. We just keep everything because you know, it's you know, funny. We, got, we got a fortune I'm, I'm, in scrap OEM carburetors and springs, and as long yeah, as just you put a Predator out, carburetor yes, on, so it, I just buy an OEM. It's amazing on but, how much money you can save. I mean, I mean, Ian, he was, he, he says that the Nikki has him uh, stumped. Yeah. I mean, the Nikki is not a bad carburetor. It really isn't. No. Well, when it, when it's put together, right, it, it runs the engine quite well, but it's overcomplicated. It's got too many parts in there. Yeah. It, it's Over designed. Yep. If, if, yeah. If, if you yeah. don't do it. Huge, huge holes to hold back the pressure yeah. instead of just a fit. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And, 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 and that, that's just, how it's made is it a bad carburetor actually it's not can you mm -hmm. fix it yeah you can but you've got to be pretty uh Savvy. experienced in doing them yeah. Diligent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Diligent. <laughs> and, and and it doesn't take a whole lot and a lot of it is plastic which can warp over time and yeah we that's why we don't like them that they're, they're too labor intensive Yep. Oh, I've got, one. I've got one for you, Klaus. Anybody else in here? We were talking earlier about the GX160, the Hondas. Mm. God brought a generator in here earlier this winter. It says that he had a hard time getting it started, just to get it started. And he said his grandson put a carburetor on it. I'm like, well, okay. Well, I took it back and 
It was a Generac. It was one of the ones that's supposed to use the push pull ring, you know, to <laughs> activate the choke with the vacuum release. Funds. <laughs> and the air cleaner was on funny. And I pulled that air cleaner box off. And I'm like, okay, I see the problem right here. They put a carburetor on for a GX160 like you would see on a pressure washer that had the manual choke with the uh, fuel valve that was integral to the carburetor. Yep. Class, Lisa, we got the right carburetor degree. for it and everything was fine. And I'm like, see, they ordered, they, the, oh, we ordered for a 160. Yeah, yeah but you got to look at the, I said, I Lisa, wouldn't have went by the 160. What's the name of that second-hand store? The generator you're putting it on. Hold on, hold on uh, Brett, there, close. Uh, 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 Lisa, Lisa wants to know where, where you're located, uh, Europe or, or the States? Lisa wants to know where to buy your T-shirts, Klaus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm asking you. Sure. <laughs> Are you, are you, you located me. in Europe or are you located in North America? I think Lisa would be located in North America. Jeez, I didn't know you had a, 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 a Maggie stuff. Okay, I'll see you. Give me a second. UK. Oh, no, she's in the know. UK. Lisa, his shirts are known worldwide, so he has distributors yeah. everywhere. Yeah, we do. Yeah. We, we, we are a, a high-tech organization that distributes. I'm still guilty. I have not signed up except yet. Except Panama. I'm still waiting on a Bruce shirt. <laughs> yeah. I'm still waiting on a Bruce shirt. Oh, My channel hasn't grown to the point where I'm offering merch yet. I'm going to show you guys something. Sharpie and make you one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 yeah, there's nothing wrong yeah, with making take white sharpie. Shirt, right shop, talk with bread on it and send it out. Say here. <laughs> Poor Maggie. Either that or I'll ask Charlie just to autograph every one of them. I don't know. Can I, Tommy, stop I, had a, I had a mixed shirt, but I ran out of toilet paper one day and. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did you run out? Uh, uh, toy, did you? I I need a new shop rag so I can use yeah. a <laughs> Maggie stop <The> owner. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. right there. uh, There's one thing that I wish would happen, but I don't know that it ever would. Ken, has Terrell ever came to any of your streams? Uh, yeah. no. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, well, no, they've commented on it, but not live, though. Not live. He's come to Christmas yeah. once. Yeah, yeah Christmas, 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 Christmas once. Yeah. Nick, Nick I would love to yeah. actually. Yeah. I would love to actually talk to him sometime. Talk to who? Terrell. Terrell. Call him up. Yep. You talk to him right on the sh in the shop. Tra tra travel to Indiana, get the tour, pay the T-shirt. He'll yep. be happy to help. Yeah. All you have to do is call him on the phone. His phone number's listed. Oh, I've talked to him. Oh, yeah. Come on, yeah. Maggie, stop. I don't need to pet you nonstop. Oh, Leave me alone. Now. Who's this moron that called? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure he's got a lot of them. <laughs> He'll say, I saw you on Ken's live stream. He's going to say, Maggie, you know stop Ken? I'm going to send you to my cousin Ken. Yeah. Cousin uh, John down there, if you don't leave me alone. Oh. I I'm thought about uh, if he ever made it up around Ohio, I thought about uh, relinquishing old Tucker for him to do a video on since he's into the antique mowers. Yeah, That's that little park lane mower I've got. Yeah, what's that one that you were showing earlier, Hank? That uh, was on uh, Pete's that, channel. Yeah, that was Pete's channel. That was on Pete's, There's and that Pete's looks channel. like that thing I've got. Mm. That little power products uh, motor on looked like I think like the thing I got. Yeah, a nice little mower. I'll tell you, aluminum frame. What are you drinking there, Klaus? Mine was a steel. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. I, I was interrupting. Sorry. Oh, there's oh. <laughs> Porter. Mild Porter. 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 Mild Porter. Very dark. Very light in taste. Almost like a Guinness. I'm drinking Man. mild water. What was that, John Clem? I'm drinking mild water. What did you drink at, Bruce? You do stupid water. careful with that stuff. You don't know what the fish did in it. Thanks. I'm drinking, I'm hey, drinking no. honey whiskey. What's up? I love brother? your answer, Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Charlie. I'm drinking that stuff. 
Yeah. Well, we got seven minutes, people. Yep. Uh -oh. So, what Tommy, you time. You're going to get a lot of people asking you to do videos on their products. Lots. Vivor, Timu, Hippo. <laughs> Nobody's asked me yet. Yeah. <laughs> my feelings are hurt. Well, yeah, you but... know, unless unless they're gonna pay me cash for my time and trouble, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, no. see, Vivor got in contact with me and they said that they want me to buy it and then I'll get commission on the ones that I yeah, sell. Yeah, but after. buy what though? What is I mean, it? I mean, I mean, I mean yeah, that's why. Uh, hold on, let me uh, spill the beans on Vivor. Have you seen the minimum amount you have to make before they will yeah. pay out? Yeah, yeah, that that's means crazy. In, a, in about 10 years, you'll get it. Well, Vivo right. sent, Vivo second, wanted second, to know second. if we... I, I, was, I wasn't finished. Go ahead. Second, <laughs> uh, they completely stopped... Respect supporting. your elders. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, they, they completely stopped supporting anything in, in, uh, in Europe at the moment, and UK. Well, they contacted us and wanted to know if we wanted to do a video on that jack. I think uh, Henry at Mowers and Blowers got one of them air jacks. Oh, I like those. And I said, not really interested in any air jack, but you know that uh, fuel cabinet you got that sells for five eighty-five Canadian? You want to send us one of them, I think Jake would be interested in doing that. Yeah, there you go. Hey, play Never ball heard back. Them, you know? <laughs> yeah. Never heard back. Yeah. Never heard back. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, it, from, from, from here, it's totally radio silence from Vivo yeah. at the moment. Oh, there we go. The only two, only two that Jake's done is uh, Lube Shuttle, and we've bought a Lube Shuttle, and uh, the induction gun, and when he hits 100000 he's going to give one of those guns away. Oh, man. Yeah. We'll pay him back. We'll order one and send it to whoever wins it. Yeah. That'd be cool. It's a yeah, 97 yeah. model there, win. Lane. Timo yeah, has yeah, a oh. Vivor listing. That you know anything you want from Vivor, that Timu has it a lot cheaper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't love things about Timu. Mechanics shows those endoscopes. They're like nineteen dollars on Timu. No way. Yeah, I've been wanting to get one of those. I got tired of guessing if it's got a bad cylinder. You know. Yeah, I'm still there, man. <laughs> That's where the two strokes are nice. On one, but it's a no, really the two strokes are nice. You can actually have a look. Low quality yeah. for the snap on one. How old is it? 20 years old. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jake's got one that hooks up to his cell phone. He just plugs it in and then he goes right. through his cell phone. That's good the enough one, to do the job. The, one I, got from, the one I got from Vivo, the, the lens, it, it, it points straight down, right? That's where the camera lens is. But yeah. then it's got it's got two. Right. Side mounted lenses so you can that flip through. Cool. It is yeah. super cool. Oh, yeah, you see yeah. sideways. Good idea. You don't, you don't even have to go like this. Then. No, you don't. And, yeah. and, and all you have to do is rotate it. And you can record video sequences on a, on a right. memory card. So oh, nice to, to well, v Vivor has one now that you can make it make a turn, a 90 degree, even 180 degree turn. Yeah. And I went around and around trying to ask the question of what's the minimum turning radius you need, and there nobody could answer the question. So they, too bad, I'm know. done. They don't know. The, the only I'm looking up for lit for Lane. It only calls out Nickies, two different Nickies, no other cross reference in there. That's the car. Is that a Nicky? Uh, it's a Nicky, yeah. That's, that's a downdraft, isn't it, it's, Ken? It's not our oh, usual. That's a, that's a very different carburetor. Yeah, yeah. it is. But that's, that's what like, it is, right? Lane, let me know. Is that what it is? Because that's what's showing up in the parts list. That's they like had post twins. Huh? Yeah, they had one um, that superseded it, and uh, this is the new one. But they look. So the is same. there no float yeah, ball in that thing? No, no, there is. But no. if you look at the kit, the body of it's the float ball style. It's a downdraft. Okay. Yeah. Look, look. When you oh, see okay, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. When you see the overhaul kits, hold on. They're all the all same because it's all Nikki, all three kits. Yeah. So right. Depending, there's no Walbro option for no, that thought, particular yeah. type. You know? I thought they were talking about like the riding mower Nickies. Yeah. 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 So, but yeah, the Lane, you, you got to make sure it's OEM kit if you can get one. I don't know if you ever noticed if, if you're looking for a, a fuel solenoid and it's for brakes, from brakes hmm. for a Walbro carburetor versus the one for the Nikki carburetor or the Rook Sing carburetor. Mm. 
go go see the price difference. It is it is it is not even funny. Well, I don't know if Walbro and Briggs got something crossed. They don't like each other, I don't think, because no. everything is like four times the cost if it's for a Walbro product. No. So the, it, it's actually a better deal to buy a Rooksing carburetor to put on than buy the solenoid for an old <laughs> Walbro from, from Briggs. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, folks, it, you're yeah. absolutely right, because the one thing that Jake does buy aftermarket, if the customer needs a new shutoff solenoid on that carb, he'll order the aftermarket carb just to put the solenoid on, yeah, yeah. and then we'll just scrap the carb. Yeah, it's cheaper. Yeah, I mean, I bet you you throw that carb in the tail. Yeah, it, it, it is crazy, and, and I think I, don't know I what bought, it is with bricks and wall, bro, but they just don't jive. Yeah. <laughs> I bought Chinesium Tecumseh carburetors just for the pilot jet brass pilot jet that they use on those yeah because the ones from the chinese are about three thousands bigger and it solves the hunting issues yeah no way yep and for ten dollars it's, it's worth it you know is that oh, yeah. the uh is that the solid un unadjustable ones yeah the one that like, screws like in the uh, from the, yeah, the old from the front. 69 or whatever it is yeah, yeah. The, the black or white plastic the plug over it. The, uh, more night conquer that's a good yeah. idea ken big con yeah, because yeah, how many times you know you need a, a little bit bigger and you, you end up snapping your thumb drills and all that, you know. So I I actually I, I got a question about small engines carburetor related. Can I can I pop that now or it's not the right form for that? Sure, I'm go sorry. ahead. Oh, sorry, so you're in the wrong hour. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this is the third hour, so it's a free for all. Ah okay. right. go ahead then. My bad. <laughs> Thank you. Clo clothing optional. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, the, sir. <laughs> the limits are capped. You have something to say? Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I'm trying. <laughs> oh, we'll get we get busy. <laughs> no, no, the limits are capped <laughs> uh, uh, on the adjustable uh, for the um, for, for this uh, uh, low circuit. Spit it out. <laughs> hey, hold on, hey, hold on, uh, Klaus. Oh, you're one to talk. I, 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 know, Klaus, I know. English, <clears throat> I know English isn't your first language, but try again. <laughs> oil related, Bill said. No, no, no oil. No. The limiter cap that sits on that adjustable jet on the Nikes. How do you get that plastic thing off? I, I usually break them pretty good I, when they come off. I, use, I, use, I <laughs> usually break the whole thing. What was the question again? I missed it. Jesus oh, Christ. yeah, that one that always snaps when you try and take it off. <laughs> I was it busy always, thinking about talking. It always snaps, Klaus, when you try and take Maybe? it off. The, whole, yeah. the screw snaps, yeah, always. Have, have I seen a tool that could take them off? Because those are the that? ones that have that. It's an aluminum cap, not a plastic cap. No, yeah. it's plastic. It's plastic. Oh. Oh, it only allows you to go three quarters of a turn. Yeah, yeah, but the ones that I've yeah. seen are actually aluminum, though. And when Metal. you try and snap it off, the whole screw snaps. Yeah. yeah. So, well, are you talking about Honda carbs, or are you no, talking no, about no, 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 the no, Nikki's. no, the Nikki, where you have oh, that Nikki's. screw that okay. only turns like a half a turn? That's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've I've never put my hands. The one that on goes in on the side sword, and you're like, "What's this for?" Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's no, got like a little black. Oh. How do I? This panel is supposed to know stuff, right? Yeah, we know. <laughs> why, why don't you take a Dremel with a little cutoff wheel? No, no. The well, metal well, ones well. you can take a soldering iron and heat heat it, and then grab a pair of pliers and you can pull it straight off. I think just just, just put a map it. torch yeah. on and blast it off. Yeah. Towards your eyebrow or towards the? Oh, shut <laughs> up. And is this on the same Nikki carburetor we all hate? I'm out. He's talking about that, that one adjustment <laughs> where you, they woman. got the, the non tamper thing on there that only allows it to turn a, a certain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like a half a turn. Yeah. yeah. You say, what does this do? It doesn't do anything. No, so nothing at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it doesn't change anything. Eh? I just pop them off. I'm sure if you snapped yeah. it off, it might change something. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's I've, I've, I've never taken one off where I haven't broken the whole thing. Yeah. So I see think okay, it's soldering right. iron. That's next on the list, Wayne. Thank yeah, you. go I'll ahead. Try, try it, it out. Yeah. 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 Elaborate. Oh. That's funny. HR twos. Uh, I've 
I've had so many questions this spring already on, on the old HR mowers with the old <coughs> Honda engines where you can't get parts for anymore. Um, and it's just, if you can't find it on a Chinese page somewhere, you're screwed. It, it's as simple as that. That's the one that I bought for 300 bucks 30 years ago, <laughs> sold it for 250 and it's still running. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is my personal lawnmower. Yeah, this screw right here, Klaus. Let's see what you, you got. Usually, this screw usually has a plastic cap on it, and it only yes, turns. Yes, yes, yes. And it, it only turns like a quarter or three quarter of a turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. what's it's, underneath it. Yeah. yeah, I know what's underneath it. I, I can see it clearly after I've broken yeah. it off. Yeah. They eliminated. Uh, <laughs> they eliminated. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but it, 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 if there was any tool or any. Pro way of taking them off without breaking it that was what i was looking for mm. but you know what's funny me, klaus when no. you look at this one you're gonna die when you see this when you buy an aftermarket one of those the plug comes separate see the black plug yeah it, do, it, do, it does it does yeah <clears throat> but i've been i mean yeah oh. uh and it, it always does and you know what it doesn't fit but but <laughs> it doesn't fit. Doesn't. i've just one, never seen that screw fit. doing anything you turn it turn yeah. it turn it nothing yeah. happens that's why they it's, sell seal all glue well <laughs> yeah um it can anyway. only take away a large ve fall. very very little <laughs> of, of a hunting issue yeah all right ladies and chinamen i mean gentlemen <laughs> We've been two hours and five minutes, so we're going to call Aww. it quits for today. Been a good stream, though. Not bad. Yeah. No, no, Where did no, Scott no, go? No. Scott disappeared? Where did he go? He's out uh, playing with his new tool. Oh, cool. Anyway, thanks to everyone in the chat. We, we kept He's a decent converted. crowd today. 40, 40, 50 feet. We did all right. <laughs> Anybody in the chat has any more questions, put them in the comments. <clears throat> we'll look at them during the week, and hopefully by next week, We'll have an answer for you. If it's something you need to know right now, put it in the Definitely comment with your done. email address, and we'll try and get an answer to you as soon as we can. <laughs> All right. But anyway, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody on the crew, team, Stella, Wayne, Brucey, Brock, the old man Hank, uh, Brett, <laughs> the old man Hank, <laughs> Clem. That's and a new shirt, huh, Hank? Anyway, hey, so. see you, everybody. So have, a good night. Good night. have a good night, everyone. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Bye Megan. Bye. <laughs> Take care.